Well, hello there, Master Hellish here, and welcome to a brand new live series. I'm going to be doing a brand new Minecraft series on the Viewer Plus server. If you don't know what Viewer Plus is, it's a fantastic way for you to support me. And uh, as you can see at the moment, 46 people do, and those people keep things rolling around here. So thank you very much to everybody who makes that happen. But we are going to be jumping into Minecraft and... I, I wasn't sure about... Hang on a minute. That's my Steam library. We don't want my Steam library. We want my face. Uh, <laughs> we... Uh I was going to do Series 1 and finish off Series 1 in a now surrounded way before moving on to Series 2, and I didn't really get as far into that as I wanted. But with the start of this server, with the Viewer Plus guys, and 1.18 coming out, it felt like the right time for me to start again. And I've got so many plans, projects, and ideas I, I want to do. And doing it on a server where there's some other people doing other things is going to be fantastic. So, join me on this journey where I am going to be the transport master. Now, it doesn't mean that nobody else in the server is doing transport, transport but um, I'm going to be trying to connect the world together with rail and maybe some roads, probably even some sort of air transportation and, yep, some water too. And we'll see how we can get it going. So, join me on this live journey and... Uh, Joining me tonight, we've actually got some of the Viewer Plus subscribers popping along. Hello, everybody. Hello. So um, we've already done a few live streams on this server. We did the kind of launch event, but it is all still very new. I'm going to join the server, and we're going to have a look. There we go. So here we go, folks. This is me on the Viewer Plus server, and you can see in the background there, we've got uh, DJ Egg just behind me, and... And then we've got Monkey <laughs> Monkey Jack and Mac there as well. I I keep forgetting that that's your skin most of the time because you're wearing armor usually. It's a great um, skin. It is a great skin. We th This is all rather new. Mm -hmm. This is all rather new to us. We've got somebody in the background over there. Um, we are still using the odd stone tools. We are still getting iron and a few bits of diamond. <laughs> but... The odd stone tools, and then there's just me with full diamond tools. <laughs> yeah, well, Brandon has been hitting the mines, uh, hitting the mines a little bit. Uh, if you want to see any of the live streams, the community ones that have led up to this stream, then what you need to do is look for the playlist called "Gaming with the Viewer Plus Subscribers." On there, you'll find all of the Viewer Plus um, live streams with the Minecraft and the Daisy and the other stuff that we've done, like car, Space Engineers, and, and uh, we've opened TTD too. Um, oh, I can see your tail sticking out. Put it away. <laughs> <laughs> um, but this this series is specifically concentrated on, on my efforts, and uh, we are here uh, in this little area, um, which is actually what Jackamac is in charge of. Jackamac, wh yeah. what is your visions for this area, and are we calling it the industrial district, or...? Yeah, this is the industrial area, and it, it needs to be as flat as possible, at least in the central bit. And I think it, I'm thinking sort of a, a cross between Victorian and modern. So the closer we get to the centre, the more Victorian, and the closer we get to the outside, the more modern it is. To kind of so, simulate how our town would have grown, maybe. Over yeah, the last I, I, I love that. Would would the older, more Victorian sort of buildings have maybe modern upgrades or extensions to them? Yeah. Maybe. I, okay. I like yeah. Like no. glass, you know, how like glass roofs and stuff like that, and sort of like nice light coming in. Mm -hmm. that kind of thing. Yeah, cool. Okay, and I, this situation, this uh, place where you've started to do it between in this valley between these two hills, is a very good place, which I suggested. Uh, but you made the decision. Um, yep. You decided this. Now, if anybody's wondering what these sand pillars are, uh, we're going to be doing some chunk loading in this area, yep. um, which is what that's all about. What are you doing, Brandon? <laughs> that sh that shape worries me. I've seen too many Hermitcraft videos recently with that shape in it. I know, oh dear, we don't want that I've, happening. I've not watched any Hermitcraft. Um, I, I watch a bit. I watch a bit here and there. Um, so I've so, primarily tried to flatten it out over the last week. It was relatively flat. At least yeah. the central was, wasn't it? And this yeah. up here, this is um, this is the iron farm which we built and doesn't work. We've yet to figure that out. We have no idea why it doesn't work. We just know all the things that... It we're supposed to do and we've checked them off and made sure that each one of them's right so there we go um what we got here um that's cool but uh, and all but where does 
the <laughs> Hindu themed space station go? Wow, I like the sound of that actually. I've I've been to Neeson Temple in London and uh, it's a fantastic building. Um if somebody's sleeping through the night, brilliant. Okay. Oh Jack, I got rid of your bed at one point, um trying to fix the farm, so I'm sorry about that. Come over here. Come over here. What? I, I should have posted this, but Oh, your underground tunnels. Yeah, it's the start of the underground tunnels. This is brilliant. Uh, this is what I wanted to see. I've actually seen this. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to disappoint you. I I was doing some spectator mode flying around to see if I could figure out why the iron farm wasn't working. And yeah, I, I saw that. <laughs> sorry. Figure out why it wasn't working. We no. Could use it for something. I don't know. Maybe like a, 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 an an interbuilding underground railway or something. Oh. Uh, oh. I feel. I, oh yeah. I feel like that we probably use it maybe for um, connecting up the chunk loaders and controlling yeah. them with the redstone and stuff like that. But today, yes, that is about where we are. We're in Jackamax Industrial District. And he's very kind. He said I can build my workshop here because my workshop is kind of an industrial building. We're going to be doing transporty things in it. We're going to be getting equipment ready to make transporty things. Um, but I didn't want to have to build my own mega base. So I kind of wanted to put this in my own space. Uh, in somebody else's space, sorry. And this isn't spawn. Spawn is over that way. About um, oh, cool trigonometry. About five hundred and fifty blocks away that way. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to turn on chunk grids because the layout of this area has very carefully been thought about and planned in advance. And we spent nearly a whole live stream talking about it. Um, and you may notice that this road is right down the middle of this chunk. This is a street chunk. And then if you go over here, there are some markers for a building. This is where a building is going to be. And if we come the other side of the street chunk, we've got this little sign, Hellish Transport Workshop. So this chunk is where I'm going to build my workshop. Now, a lot of the buildings in here matter where the chunks go because of the chunk loading. My workshop doesn't matter, but I'm going to stick to the plan to help um, the layout of the place. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to flatten this area. And while we're doing it, I'll let you know what my plans are for the workshop. And then maybe if we get the opportunity later, I will talk a little bit about more of the plans for the thing overall. Now, I have got a load of equipment on me. There's a lot of cobbled deep slate, deep slate, deep slate, tuft and stuff, gravel and a few bits and bobs. Just things that I thought might be useful for this build. I haven't really got a proper palette in mind. We're going to try and keep with Jackamax theme which is mostly bricky, blocky, not mm, totally modern, but like construction-y sort of materials. Yeah. And that's one of the reasons why I, I chose the cobbled deep slate. It's deep, I did it again, deep slate, um, because I felt it, it was that sort of texture and it could be good for either the floor or foundations. Now, I did think that I was going to build it here, which is why this area is flat, uh, but then we decided where the nether portal to this area was going to go, and I decided not to build my workshop directly next to the nether portal. I thought we'd leave a gap or maybe we'd have a smaller building there. Or maybe there'd be like some sort of rail garden or something. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. So while I'm doing a little bit of digging, um, for anybody who's not familiar with what's going on with a lot of the things in the world yet, uh, Brandon, do you want to just quickly in a couple of sentences say what you're up to? I'm totally not flattening a mountain to put a castle on it for trade. Uh, yes, uh, you're doing like a castly district. What what sort of theme are you going with? Is it a? It's it's just, um what was the word? It's, it's like a medieval medieval, medieval yeah, theme. Okay, it. so Brandon's going for medieval themed castle, and it's going to be our centre of trade. So I'm going to fill this little hole in because while I'm not planning to do masses amounts of terraforming, in fact that's probably it um that'll do now you can tell that this build isn't going to be massive it's not going to be tiny but it's not going to be massive it's going to have multiple stories and it's got multiple purposes as well because i don't think i'm going to have a proper house in this world i'm going to be a bit nomadic move around a little bit so i might live in my workshop so it's and it might actually have a bit of a shop aspect to it as well so there's a few core resources like iron and gold and well, probably iron and gold. They're probably just going to be community resources because we've got community farms for them, but there's a lot of other resources that we'll probably trade with each other. 
Now, Egg, what have you been up to around here? You've been bringing me stuff, haven't you? I brought some bricks. You brought some bricks because you you knew that I was planning to use some bricks, and we're going to need a lot of bricks in this area at some point. So I guess I'm going to plan out a foundation. So the outer wall, I'm actually going to encroach on the street a little bit, and then the kind of if I'm going to do any sort of garden or pathway, it will be like leading up to the street. Um, Jack and Mac, are you planning to upgrade these roads later on to maybe something that resembles a bit tarmacky, or are you thinking of leaving them like this, or a mixture, or what? Yeah, I, I, I don't know what material would be nicest. Um, are you, slabs. Yeah, maybe. Are you thinking of them being, like, four-wide-ish pathways, or was four, you going for big, wide roads? Four-wide works, because we can put things next to them if we want to add things in. This uh, is what I was just saying. I was thinking, like, if I build my outer wall... Oh, oh my goodness. Well, if I actually manage to put the outer wall in the right place, then it still leaves a nice little gap between the building and yep. the road for, you know, plants and stuff if we want Difficult. that. So. Uh, little community centres or little yeah. shops, stuff like that. Are you planning anything either side of my workshop at the moment? No, no I'm staying away from that. I'm, I'm, I'm edging out near where the my current building is. Okay. So I might need some sort of warehouse... Uh, if I do that, what I'll probably do is extend and put it inside that hill. Yeah. Uh, just it's like ex partly um, excavated. What the hill? Well, there's a bit over here. Oh yeah, yeah. that's that's in the wrong place, though, isn't it? Uh, but that's okay. Right. So I'm going to put the I'm going to start off with a square, and then I'm going to work it. Is a lane around? Yeah. Okay. So um, a lane. You're new to Minecraft, aren't you? Mostly, yeah. Mo mostly. You're certainly new to vanilla Minecraft. You played with us on the modded server when we had that, didn't you? Mm-hmm. Um, and I was speaking to Elaine about like ways to improve your builds because not I'm not that I'm an expert, but I have recently been looking into ways to improve my builds because I wanted to kind of step it up a notch. So there we go. And one of the ways you can do it is to stop building big square structures. Now, I've, I'm very well aware what I've just done is made a big square structure. But this is like a starting point. This is a template. So now we can get rid of the grid lines, and it's F3 and G if anybody's ever wondering about that. And what I'm thinking is, is if I take out one of these corners, that will make it an L shape. And then I might put something on the side a little bit. Just make it a little bit bigger than one chunk. I'm not 100% sure. So how big do I want the inside to be before I then L-shape it? Down the middle-ish or a little bit more? I feel a little bit less. I feel like the building size should come something like this. And if I do... Well, I know it just ran out, but... If I do this... And um, maybe part of it can be a balcony... And then I can put a bit of living space up on the other side or something along those lines or have a lopsided roof or something. So that was one of the things that we talked about. The other thing that we talked about is not to just have one thick wide walls. So there we go. So I'm going to want some windows in this. We're going to want a door. That is almost certainly screaming balcony to me. Uh, what's everybody else doing at the minute? Out of curiosity, what's going on around here at the minute? So it, look, it looks like Jack and Mac, if I got my spyglass here, it looks like Jack and Mac's under the ground. Yeah, I'm just doing finish, finishing off like an entrance to the sewer. You know what? I thought this spider glass was going to be a bit of a throwaway item, but especially on a multiplayer server, it's like, oh, mm -hmm. what, what's, what's Brandon doing over there? Oh, he's ringing around in the meadows. He's frolicking like a newborn lamb. Um, and then like... Bird. Up on that up on that hill there's a bit of stone. You can quite clearly see it. It's it's nice to have. I know some people have Optifine, but I'm a little bit of a purist. Oh, before we should get going with any more, we should tell people where the industrial district is in relation to everything else. We have a map mod for that, a client size map client side map mod. So here is a top down view of the industrial district. You can see this is Jackamac's little building here. This is the um iron farm over there that gray square this is that l shape that i've just built and you can see on my little arrow there so this is the industrial district and if we zoom out and head a little bit down to the southeast we get this little section of building around here with this island this is all the spawn area 
So this is spawn. This is um, I think just under this reddish structure. That's zero zero, which is actually the centre of our world. Now there's a lot of plans for that in the future, but just not yet. And that's where we are relative to that. If we zoom out even more, we can see that we've got a sea to the north, which I've explored. And we've got uh, a sea to the west, which I've explored some of. Uh, this is Elaine's base up here. I think Elaine's going to be doing some sort of logging camp. Uh, a DJ egg somewhere over here, uh, over to the far right. And I think, Brandon, you're just off the edge of my screen. Maybe if you have a glance at the... Yeah, yeah. Uh, I yeah. saw... I, no, no, no. Um... That L shape, backwards L shaped mountain. I'm above that. What? On your map. Backwards L shaped mountain. It's like an L that's fallen over. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's above that. It's oh, it's so it's up here. Yeah. So that's yeah. cool. Um, I'm a little bit thinking that this is a bit deep. I'm gonna bring it back by one more. That's the one problem with this, uh, well not one problem with this couple deep slate, is that it is a little bit of a pain to, to break. Maybe I should have done something else. <laughs> it's a day, bro, that made sense. Every, everything I say makes sense. <laughs> oh, that is such a lie. Right, okay, so that is going to be the basic footprint for our place. I, we might have a little bit of a sticky outy bit. But Jackamax says there's going to be nothing either side, so maybe maybe I'll put something on the nether portal side. As far as I'm concerned, this side of the road is yours. Okay, right. All right. And while in that case, this is, this is the workshop. Okay, so that's that done. Next, I want to plan windows. Um, and we're going to be mostly using bricks for the lower part, I think. Now, I'm going to need a crafting table. I'm going to make my own. Because I'm going to be, I'm going to need my own anyway when I move into this place. Um, there we go. I'm going to get my furnace out because we might need them to cook up some good stuff. And we'll pop some charcoal in the bottom that I saved. Some reason I picked up some seeds. There we go. Let's get rid of them. And we've got the bricks in here. Let's just chuck a few of the other things in. I've brought some uh, scaffolding with me as well that might be good and there's we got about 10 billion beds left over from when we did the iron farm not quite sure where the door's going to be i think i want it to be an l shape and then the door comes in here so if how we do a double door like that so that'll be good how do we end up with a ton of doors a ton shouldn't of doors all, shouldn't they all be in the farm yeah you don't need doors in the farm you haven't needed doors in the farm since well that makes it count as a village no, doors have nothing oh, to do with villages these days. I'm That's... thinking of uh, beds. Yes, beds. So I like the idea of of coming in this way and the door being there. I'm not sure I like the unevenness of this, but on the inside, it's the opposite. Yeah, that's fine. We'll leave that. I have no idea what I'm going to do for the floor. This bit here almost certainly is going to have a big window. So let's see. Let's get some brick stairs in there, I think. Because I think a bit of brick stairs beneath the window would be good. Now, how have I done this? Is it an even number or an odd number? It's an even number. So we're going to have to have a four wide window, I think. Also, the colour of the window is going to matter, isn't it? It's quite a high up window. I'm not sure if I like it that high up. But I am going to slab the floor on the inside. Not sh I think I might slab the floor with spruce. Oh, nobody said it. Spruce. I thought, spruce. I thought somebody was going to say it. It's like we... the second best wood in the game. What's the best wood in the game? Dark. Yeah, but you you can you can tree farm spruce. You can't tree farm. Why? Well, that does can... make spruce inherently better. Yes. Yeah. From a farming it, perspective. It gives it extra points in the best block competition. It's like no one likes acacia because it's hard to farm and it looks terrible. Okay, so in theory, this is my floor level and then I can see out the window, but I can only just see out the window. Um, I would raise it all down. I would bring it all down by half, but I don't think... Hmm... I think I'm happy with that, actually. 
let's go with it let's go with it so we'll we'll do a bit of a boring brick frame to begin with and then I think I'll do the opposite on the upside this is where the scaffolding is now going to come into use because I'm going to have to get up and down here now mm. put it there so uh, if we want the glass let's put one more on the top Urgh! oh no I forgot to close my office door I'm sure it will automatically close itself any second there we go it just did it it didn't automatically close itself that was the wife um oh new viewer plus subscriber fantastic new viewer plus subscriber who's the new viewer plus subscriber beanie nixon's resubbed thank you very much for the resub beanie nixon don't know if you're watching live now but there we go mm, i like the indent i'm not sure if i'm gonna like the this is the first time I've tried to use these bricks in a build. And at the moment, I'm loving the combination of the deep slate and the brick. I think this brick's going to have to be used sparingly. Otherwise, it's not going to look great. It's a good accent brick. Yeah, I mean, I'm kind of using it for most things that aren't... Like the just the generic walls. And I'm not going to do the upper floor with it. I'm kind of thinking... I might not do the corners with it. Or I might do the corners as some sort of pillar? Pillar block or something? Um, anyway, if I have a store, I'm going to have a store here where people can look in and buy it. And then I can... Um, well, actually, I'm not 100% I'm not sure how that's going to go. It's just this will be a little shop fronty bit, probably. Um... So we'll see how that's going to go. Let's see. If they're going to look in, we can put a wooden counter. Should we do that wooden counter now? Yeah. And then we can work out how high the roof's going to be, and everything's going to be fantastic. You're right, Brandon. Yeah. What's, Brandon look What's Brandon looking at? What? Nothing. <laughs> Just trying to work out what Brandon's looking at. I was getting dirt because I need dirt. You need dirt. Everybody needs dirt. Dirt is the biggest commodity at the moment on this server. Um, right. You know what else spruce is really good for? The trapdoor. The spruce trapdoor, I think, is my favourite trapdoor. So, if we do this, this can be like the outdoor counter. And then I can build something around it. Probably brick. Let's start with a brick frame and see how it goes. Yeah, I, I, I think I like that. I've, I, like I said, I've never built with this block before. This is a weird block. We're working out the block palette as we go. It's not very often I do that, especially in survival. Like I'll go out and do creative bits to work out what I want to do. So this window here, I like the shape and size of the window, and I think I'm going to replicate it directly next to the window so one there and then i might do one a little bit further down as well so let's just get a few more of these stair blocks that should do it i think you guys okay over there no, if you guys it, your fire. no no i deliberately missed you if you guys are looking for something, you could restore this hillside or just like maybe sweep it back a little bit so that it it, it like comes just straight down here. You know what, you know what I mean? Rather than just having this cliff here. I'll do a natural. Yeah, yeah, naturalize that cliff. Okay. That's something not, I can do. I'm not saying do it. I'm just saying if you want to, that's something that would be nice. Hellish. Yeah. I, I've, I've been terraforming in Minecraft for the past five years. It's the only thing I know how to do. This is probably true. Right, okay, so with the corner, this is going to look like a two-block gap. So in theory, two-block gap, yeah, it's not going to look right for the back. Hmm. So if I do a corner, maybe-ish thing, and put that there, there's two-block gap. Maybe if I just move this over. I mean, I could just do longer windows. 
but I don't want to. I want the same size window. So I'm going to bring it over. I'm going to bring it over by a couple of blo blocks and bricks and we'll see how this wall looks with a two gap in the middle. I'm going to uh, I need a piece of scaffold here. Hey, Jackamack, where you been? Uh, just getting some brick. Well, clay. Oh, you you need it as well, don't you? Me yeah. and Jackamack are just yeah. going to need so much clay, aren't we? It's a bit ridiculous. But you I think I. 1.19. Uh, 1.9, yeah, because you can make it, can't you? Yeah. Okay, let's have a look at where this is heading. It's a lot of brick. But I haven't done any of the decoration yet. Or features or overhangs or anything like that. It is a lot of brick. I think maybe the windowsill should be a different something different altogether. Maybe spruce. Or maybe spruce on the bottom and brick on the top? Oh no, I've just worked it out. I think I know what it needs to be. I think it needs to be the uh, the other block. Stone bricks. I think it needs to be like a stone brick windowsill. Or maybe across the top. Yeah, like a line of it across the top. Okay, I need some stone bricks. Do I have any materials for that? No. Jackamack, I'm sorry, but we did actually just dump a load of stuff in your house when we did the uh, the iron farm. Yeah, and I might have used it. No, 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 not all of it. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna nick some of the stuff we have brought for the I'm, iron I'm, farm. I'm stopping using that because it's starting to look a bit stone bricky around here. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's let's put some stone bricks across the top. And if I do that, a few Nothing more wrong time. stone bricks, Jack. There is when it's everything. But mm. more stone bricks. If it looks too stone bricky, all you need is more stone bricks. I'm not sure that theory really pans out, to be honest, Brandon. Yeah, that breaks it up much better. But I'd have to have a layer of stone bricks... Uh, of the brick, brick. What are these bricks called? Just bricks. We're going to have to have a layer of the bricks across the top. I'm going to try it with the spruce at the bottom and I think that might actually be the way we go with this no no it's too different there's too much going on there okay so the question now is do we put the bricks at the top or the bricks at the bottom and there's a very easy way to answer that does anybody know what the easy way to answer that is try it out no. exactly so there's the one with the, the stone bricks at the top, and then over here, we'll just switch this around and put the stone bricks at the bottom and see what we get. Now, I haven't even put the glass in yet, but I think I might just use maybe white. I'm pretty sure I want white. There we go. Let's just put another layer on there. Still not sure about these corners, but there we go. And then this one goes here, does it? There we go. Oh, I think it might be this way around. I want I want a vote. I want to know in the chat and people that are here Ooh. which Oh god. Don't no no ooh. Um They spawned on camera egg. They spawned on top of me. Are you using a flint and steel on them? Yeah. Good. Last, last thing we want today is an unplanned raid. Right. I have done... What? Yeah, an unplanned raid? Yeah. So I've done two window designs here. One has got the stone bricks at the bottom. And the other one has got the stone bricks at the top. Now bear in mind it hasn't got the glass in it yet. I mean I do have some glass. And I do have the stuff to tint it as well, so... Why not make stone bricks? I did think that, but it just feels like too much stone bricks, doesn't it? Yeah, but currently it blends the bottom into the wall. Okay, let me let me see. Oh, wait, I don't have more. Hang on. I'll just grab some more. 
Uh, there we go. How much of these? Oh yeah, I'm I'm down to sixty one brick bricks, and I've only done like half the front and most of one side. The good news is is that the back's just going to probably disappear into the mountain. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to have a drink of water. Hang on a second, folks. Ah, uh, right. So it is at this... Nope, that height. Ah, oh, you guys are going to say that this is it, aren't you? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Oh, no, not the... Not three stone bricks, Ted. What? What are you talking about? Oh, I thought the three stone bricks, Ted, was an intention. No, it was an accident. It was a misclick. There we go. So you got it, Ted. Ah, you know what? I think you're right. Yeah. I think I think top and bottom's the best one. Yep. Yeah. Okay, fine. I suppose it means using less bricks, doesn't it? Um, oh, no. I don't want to take that out. I want to take the bricks at the top out. Okay, so at least I know what I'm doing there. Um, what was that? Oh, it's a wandering trader. <gasps> He's got drip leaf. Every, every, we, need, um, we need emerald. He's got drip leaf. Oh, hang on, we can get drip leaf in 1.18 now. Once again, Wandering Trader, you are now a wandering lead generation system. They're so garbage, aren't they? They are. I mean, I like the look of them, and I like the fact that they come with llamas, and I like the fact they do trading. I like I that idea. They just do the, it terribly. The, execu the execution of the art and stuff is all good, but the concept of the the trades and stuff? They, they need to trade actually like either useful or rare things. Yeah. I'm the problem is if expensive. Mm, yeah, or, or more quantities. Like if I could get sand from this dude in massive quantities, then oh, oh yeah. that's that's so much better. So he trades like one of each thing. Yeah. What are we What are we thinking for the sides? And by we, I mean like me plus suggestions from anyone else. Have we tried using bricks? What in the corners? Oh no! In the corners, you might want like a pillory block. Yeah, that's what I was thinking—a pillory block. But I'm not sure what sort of pillory block I might want. Is there a pillory deep slate? Uh, there's a cobble deep slate. Um, deep slate, cobble deep slate slabs. Uh, I think. Oh, there's polished, but that is like the diorite, if you know what I mean. No. Oh yeah. It's like, so it uh, it has the grid texture. It's like a kitchen floor. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Let's put the the door back in. There's going to be some sort of steps that lead us in here. There we go. Uh, I need more sprucey stuff. Deep slate bricks. Mm. No. no, that is that is way too too bricky then, isn't it? Yeah. You knew it. As soon as you did it, yeah. you knew it. You was like, ah, oh, it, it didn't pan out. Quart quartz has pillars. Yeah, I don't like the quartz. Well, I do and I don't like the quartz pillars. They've got their place. Like, if you're doing a super modern or super kind of like, almost like Greek bath style, then yeah. What I was trying to get at is other blocks should have pillars, like quartz pillars. Oh, I see what you mean. Hmm. I don't know whether to have like a little window in here. No, I, I'm not going to have a little window in there. Build this up. Uh, what height am I going to have this at? I'm going to have just a little wall over the top? Little shop? Yeah, I like that. Okay. So whatever kind of roof bits or edging I decide to do, it will probably end up being some sort of half slab that covers up the top half of that block up there. Um, and then that gives me a nice position for a slanted roof there. Although what I'm going to use for a slanted roof I have no idea right now. Um, probably think a nice floor, um, like a nice wood. 
a nice wood. Maybe uh, spruce. spruce. I'm already using spruce for the floors inside, and it's also going to be the roof as well. Um, well, thank you. Then. You what? There you go then. Yeah. Drip. Like Look. that. That is going to be the second story up there. So. I mean, I have no idea how I'm going to get up to the second story. I might actually install a lift. I mean, regular log looks all right, Egg. Oh, hang on. Regular logs. No. It's no, nice and no. um, Victorian. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I kind of forgot the theme a little bit. All right, I've got an idea. Let me try something. I'm thinking of Tudor, never mind. The Burick. The... It just makes the whole thing a bit like flat and bland. But it's a bit I've blocky now, isn't it? Yeah, but wait, what if we do something? It's gonna use up a lot of cobble deets like something like Put some end the side. No not end the side granite. Like this? Give it some additional structure. Oh, yeah. I never thought about it in th the third dimension. Exactly. This is another thing that I was saying before. Like, it's different from the north normal thing that I would build, and it it breaks up the brick and it provides structure. And the second story could even overhang on those pillars. Yes. Okay. And the second story is not going to be the brick. We're going to do something. Yes? yes. I think yes. Looks I, nice. I yeah, I think that's nailed it. The only problem we've got now is we're going to have to go on a clay hunting spree. Well, I say we. I mean me. It's my build. That's it. I'm out. Um, I'm a little bit... Hmm... Maybe the second story does want to. Li oh, I'm not sure actually. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Hang on. What's what's Jackamac doing over there? That hey, really he's he's building something. So, hey, Jackamac. Mm -hmm. Look what I did to my corners. Let's have a look. Do you like it? These just wall yeah yeah walls. Yeah, I need to do that. Yeah, that's way better. <laughs> Are you going to use the brick, bo the brick bottoms and the brick top like you've got, but then just do the walls in the corners? Yeah, can you make stone brick walls? Yeah, yeah but I don't think it would have the same effect. No. I think you the black to... contrasts it better. You need it to be the same material as the base of the building. Yeah, it is. It is. The base of his building is slightly different to mine. Maybe it would work for his, because the base is slightly different. There's also cobblestone walls. Mm, not. Mm. See, cobblestone is sometimes a bit underused, isn't it? It's surprisingly useful. Like you're you're using cobblestone right now. Where? The deep slate is the cobblestone variant. Yeah, it's cobbled deep slate, but it's a little bit more slaty, isn't it? I think that's its point. What do you mean? Yeah, yeah, it is the point. Yeah, it is the point. Right, I'm going to put this over here because why not? And then I can get up there. Right, so let's now pop this on. So the idea is I was going to have, I'm thinking some sort of flange. Now I know I've spoke, ah, ah, this flange could be the start of our angled roof. So if I do this mm, that if I just do an angled roof here like stairs but it doesn't oh, try again like stairs but never gets to the floor like this I think I ran out of no ah no look it goes down too quickly uh, flatten it more sorry 
Yeah, go out two at a time. Like two or three. I, don't, I think three would be too much. My intuition is is that you say three, I think you're a madman. So, like... I mean, I am a bit of a mad, but... Okay. I was about to say, we are talking about Brandon here, right? <laughs> Brandon, <laughs> the crazy person. Okay, right um, let's have a look. Who needed spruce? Me, why? Whoa! Uh, <gasps> oh, guys, you know what? We need to do our Christmas tree. Okay, that's there. No. <laughs> we, we'll do it at spawn like we always do. When? Oh, what is it next Wednesday? I'm not sure I can make next Wednesday. Right, we'll have a conversation in the Minecraft Discord about Christmas tree. We'll find a time to do it, even if it's just going to be a quick half an hour. Mm -hmm. okay. we'll, we'll fit it in somehow. Very good. What did you do last time? Oh, you filled a swarm of snow gunners. Yes, and then half of them died because we border a desert. Um, right. <laughs> We're going to have to... And it would put snow down because it had torches everywhere. And then we removed the torches and then spawn was suddenly infested with mobs. Yeah, that's it. We could either have the snow or be infested. And there was no middle ground. Right. I'm now going to go... Um, what do you call it? Clay diving. And for clay diving, you need a decent iron shovel, which I have not got. Uh, you need uh, some doors, which I have not got. And I do have a stick, though, so we might... Can I make... Um, I can make some... Um, use cobble deet slate to make spare shovels. So I've got a few spare shovels. That's all cool. And... Brandon's setting light to things again. Are you a pyromaniac? I'm a wizard. It's a wizard. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Let's have a look. Oh, this yes. Oh, jack -a mac hmm? Oh, this looks like nice. It does, but... what, Brandon, what do you think I'm going to complain about? The corners. Hey? The corners. The windows. The windows. One point to egg. Yeah? In my opinion, and it is just my opinion, panes always look so much better than blocks. Yeah, true. And I would encourage you to experiment with different colours. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I think it's a gen generally well agreed that glass panes look better than blocks. It gives the build depth and stuff. Yeah. You get We're always well. talking. I like what Jack's done down here with putting sometimes that. glass is better than. Yeah, yeah, it is true. Sometimes a solid glass block wall. I'm basing it off like sort of like a Victorian-ish town hall kind of style. Mm -hmm. What like, is this build? Um, that's the thing. I don't know yet. I want to say town hall. <laughs> okay. Are you put in the town fun. hall within the chunk loaded section. Uh, that's a good point. No, it could have something inside it. It could be. Okay. Yeah. It's or under it, or above it. It's early enough. We could check. We can make it into anything at the moment. So. What's yeah. It? Well, we need a town hall. Well, yeah. what are you chunk loading? Well, uh, well like the. Well, oh yeah. You say, like. You want to chunk load all these. You want to chunk load stuff, but what exactly are you going to be chunk loading? The farms. Mm. What so the iron farm's the first one, even though it doesn't work yet. Then there'll be the moss farm. Um, did you say you had surplus doors, Jack? Nick's here. Hello, Nick. Welcome. I got three doors. Oh, I thought there was loads of doors in here the way somebody was... Oh, somebody said beds, oh. uh, doors and meant beds. Yeah. Okay, uh, I'll make some doors, and then I'm going to go and jump and get some clay. Uh, let's see I here. I to ask how many doors do you need, because I can then make, like, a bajillion of them. Oh, I only really need, like, one one lot. Okay, I have, I've filled these up, so let's go. Brandon, what are you doing? Visualising how the inside of your house is going to look. Well, if you're bored, you can lay my floor for me, if you like. You have spruce? Yes, there is spruce. Well, there's also that great big massive tree that's there that doesn't need to be. So that's fine. Someone else will chop it down. <laughs> Who put the saplings there? I will chop it down. Right. Let's go and go and get a load of balls. Right, let's have a look. in. The I, I bet Jack Max has been around. Oh, cool, look at this. You need to Wow. Find you need to find an axolotl biome. Why? An axolotl biome? Yeah, because they have um, 
play. Lots of it. Oh, um, oh, what's it called? Lush Caves. Yeah. Axolotl biome. You well, that's it. where they spawn. It, well, yes. I will give you that. You are technically correct. They're calling the jungle the parrot biome. But it is. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> that is a very good. Oh, the door's gone. That's a very to good. Me, egg. Of yeah. course, it's the parrot biome. Mm. Yeah, but you've never called it the parrot biome before, have you? No. Because they were called it. <laughs> it was like me when I was playing Transport Fever and was talking the various different. Uh, I was calling the various different resources by their ridiculous, like, made up names. Lego. Lego blocks, which like, turned out to be black. I like the right angle. Right. I still don't know what it is. Uh, I think it's still. I've, I've, what? No, oh, the right angles. Yeah, yeah, the right angles still. Okay, I've got two stacks from the first, um, the first go, so to speak. The first, um, bit of um, digging. And there is more. I think we're going to be all right, guys. I think we're not going to need like these stone bricks forever, are we? We're going to need a certain amount of them, and then we're probably not going to need that much more. And I think if we just dig out all the rivers, we'll be fine. You mean bricks? Yeah. I was going to say, if you have spare stone brick, I'll say. What, for your castle? Yeah. There you go. There we go. It is going to be a bit of a awkward one, though. Do we want Podzol here? Podzol? That, if I remember correctly, where that is now is going to be the warehouse where we're going to be storing all the group wonderful goodies. Okay, I'm just going to leave it then. Selm's here, hello, welcome. My welcome. Solution. What's that? Just, just leave it. Yeah. Yeah. I've now I have to remember when you collect clay, you get half as much in clay bricks. Not a quarter. No, wait, a th quarter, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you get more than one when you mine it, though. Yeah, uh, yeah. But I'm saying I'm talking about you. I'm talking about my balls, Brandon. I'm talking about my clay balls. All right. There we go. Make sure we've got all of them. And then there's a load on the surface, which we will grab. Does fortune affect? I think it does. Yes. Because that means you can have infinite clay. No, it doesn't. Wouldn't Oh, does it not? Because it could have infinite. Sounds good to me. Um, Egg. Yeah. You got the wood. <sighs> okay, let's have a look. What we got? Okay, I've got one stack. I think what I'll do is I'll I'll get enough for two stacks, and then we'll see what else I need. Um, oh, the tree's going down. Point them up. Somebody chopped the tree down. Um, I was gonna, oh yeah, if anybody needs silk touch, I've got a couple of silk touch picks. Ooh. I got them um, through treasure hunting. That sounds familiar. Yeah. I basically I just I went round the North Sea, and um, I just checked out the entire like, basically map revealing. That's what I was doing. Yeah, and there was a couple of places that I looted along the way just because they were right there, and uh, yeah, I managed to get a couple of uh, um, silk touch pickaxes. Okay, what's my ball count at now? Now you grindstone it to get the XP. Um, no, probably just worth keeping to be honest. I think that's all the clay in this lake. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's just sand. Uh, there's more clay over there. Trying to do it so it doesn't look like I've just taken a big chunk of clay and there's like a hole. I'm sure there's... Oh, no. Oh, yeah, there is clay over here. I'm sure there's a better way to get clay. I can't remember what it is. Rather than just like digging it out from. I sure the river has always been the best way. I think it is, and in in some ways, it's one of my favourite 
ways of gathering material for something because it feels so very natural like you're digging clay out of a river and then you're you're firing it in a furnace to make bricks and you put those bricks together to make a wall it's like a, shame a brick that, block it feels very normal you know it's very, a shame that clay bricks are like one of the worst looking bricks in the game yeah they are a, i wouldn't although since the update they do look noticeably better <laughs> They do look better than they were. They weren't that bad than before. Um, but oh, I've got something wrong with my chat. Bear with me a moment. If anybody sent a chat message in the last minute or so and I didn't mention it, uh, please feel free to repost. My chat crashed. This is um, one of those things where you've got local water levels so we've got a water level up here we've got a water level down there i accidentally fell in um it's, it's fine i'll just get out of here it's okay whoa <gasps> glow squid oh i want to kill them oh i got an idea no i haven't got a water bucket it'd be cool if glow squid added like um local lighting can, yeah, it would be. Can somebody come and water bucket me out of this hole, please? Is that uh, would somebody be able to do that? Uh, yeah, yeah. Y you know where I am? No. Rough. Where are you? Uh, let's see. There. Oh, there. I I can see. I'm here. See me? Yeah, I see you. Can you come to this hole and water bucket me out, please? Because I'm just about to dive in. Geronimo. Well, that was fun. Oh, they've all gone. Are they all dead? you got to say Johnny Mo, otherwise, something's go otherwise something goes wrong. Something always goes wrong. <laughs> well, there's iron down. I I think they despawned. Ugh. Let's have a look. Oh, I think they despawned. Although this is a nice underwater cave. Hi, Egg. Hi. Where is that? There's, da There's all sorts down here. There is. I can see iron in the walls. Um, and it goes down further as well. I'm going to have a little look. Yeah, there's more copper, more iron. You guys vanished. Oh, there we go. Look, some glow squid. Oh, you're down there. Uh, come on, get in. There we go. You're all right unless you get like loads of drowned spawning. I thought they only spawn in uh, the drip caves. What's that? The dripstone caves. You mean the glow squid? No, the drowned. Oh, uh, I don't know. Probably There's actually not. some here. Oh, that one's swimming so fast. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, drown can you spawn in the ocean? Yeah, drown can just spawn anywhere, can't they? Yeah. I was like, what's that thing over there? It looks really strange. Turns out it's just DJ Egg's name tag. <laughs> <laughs> right, here oh. we go. It's best to corner these because they, if they swim off, they're so quick. Right, I'm going to get my breath and get out of here. I only Cave managed to get two. Caving is just different now. It is. I realised as well, we've, we've got some water breathing potions back at spawn. But like, Aqua Affinity is going to be like one of the most important enchantments for going caving now, I think. Aqua Affinity and uh, Aqua breathing. Water breathing. Water breathing, yes those two right after getting distracted um i do have a lot of balls but i don't have enough balls so let's have a quick look at the map okay so we've kind of done round here let's uh let's just check this little pond behind us over here see if there's any more and i'm sure there's plenty in the sea okay yeah, oh. see i found the seas and have less than like rivers yeah, they do. Okay, this is just like a... What looks like a deep open cave. There's none in here. 
Well, right, that'll do for now. That'll do for now. We'll head back, because I don't know exactly how many we need. There are so many beehives. Oh, that's a point, by the way. In the version we're running of Minecraft, there's a bug sometimes where bees can magically disappear out of the beehives. Oh. I thought that was fixed in one. It is, but we're not running one yet. Oh. Why? Uh, I haven't got round to updating the server. Oh. So, we will do it soon. And if there was beehives and they had despawned and shouldn't have, I will fix it with the adminness. Yeah, I have about 400 beehives. There we go. I need another chest because this is getting a bit ridiculous now. So, what wood did I bring mid with me that I'm probably not going to use on this build? Birch. I'd say maybe birch, yeah. There we go. Where'd my wood go? Right, let's get some chests up and running. These chests eventually will be inside. There we go. And because I'm really lazy and I can't be bothered to take things in and out of the um, smeltery things, what are they called? Furnaces. I'm going to stick. <laughs> I'm going to nick some um, hoppers from the uh, not working iron farm. And uh, yeah, I had just... a look in there, and I still don't know why it's not working. I don't know why it's not working. Um, originally, um, it was because. Uh, they weren't breeding because it wasn't a village and because there wasn't a big enough space above the beds. But we fixed that. So I don't know what that was about. Um, they are all can... nitwits, which I'm sure doesn't matter. I you know it doesn't. It doesn't matter. They shouldn't need a profession. Uh, it's the golem like that. Like, what do you mean? Light, is there light in there for them to spawn? Do golems need light to spawn? And, and there is light. There's light from the lava. Right. Oh, you did my floor for me, one of you. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Now, we need a temporary staircase, which I'm going to... Oh, I want an inside wall. What am I going to use for inside walls? Do I use the brick again? Plaster. You what? That's the plaster. I, f I think this is where we're going to... Oh, maybe I can use the... What about the deep slate deep slate bricks? Like the proper brick blocks? Maybe. For, for the internal walls? Yeah, maybe. No, I feel that's more of a featurey thing. Like if I'm making a thing. What about... No, the floor is the same. Stone bricks. See, I've, managed to get, I've never managed to get inside walls to work. Yeah, inside walls are quite different. Uh, maybe polished deep slate. Mm, mm, let's have a look. Polished deep polished deep slate is that one that is like this. Let's get a couple of them out there. So let's have a look. I feel that's more of a floory thing. Maybe polished deep slate would be a good thing for like the warehouse floor. Yeah, so it reminds me of um, smooth stone. It reminds me of diorite. Uh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's it really diorite, does. but it looks good. <laughs> diorite, but good. I'm just playing around with brick stairs as a bit of a concept for stuff at the minute, but no, no, and no, not doing that. This would be good. This would be useful for um, up upside slabs, vertical slabs. Also, I need. Oh, you know what? Deep the deep uh, the deep slate brick, I think would be probably good for a staircase. So, this is an entrance way. Obviously, that's where the door is. This is the shoppy bit. So, I'm going to put a wall in with a staff door and then a wall here. And then that gives me pretty much an L shape here to deal with what I want. And then an entrance into the warehouse. So, I'm currently thinking the staircase... 
might go I'm not thinking very well also the so over oops. here cobblestone yeah <laughs> oh egg I, I think the cobblestone works okay it does it's yeah. Don't you just hate it when somebody just comes in, throws a block down, and you go, oh, that's what I've been looking for. <laughs> right, okay. I'm, I'm trying to work out where the how the upstairs and staircase is going to go, so I'm going to go and get the scaffold and actually Pro get up there. Probably, Probably against against the wall. Where, oh, there's the scaffold. Sorry, what did you say? Probably against this wall. Uh, well, there's going to be a door somewhere around here so I can get into the shoppy area, into the the shop for the workshop. Hellish, um, yes? I thought of a good block for your walls. What walls? These walls. What? Dirt. <laughs> get out. Get out. Go away. No. Go away. No. Nah, you can't chase me. What do you mean I can't chase you? You can't jump through. Th ah! <laughs> Crouch jump, mate. Crouch jump. Oh dear. New to this. Uh, what is Transport Inc? Transport Inc. is my company within this server where we're going to be connecting the world with transport. Uh, most transport services will be free, but premium. I will be putting some premium ones in where people can go some some nice rides. I don't actually want the wall there though, Egg. I mean, Hennessy. Uh, I think it's actually transporting rather than hellishing. You see, I've got two blocks there, two blocks there. I want the wall here, slightly inset, with a door, and then another two, and round a corner, I think. Or is it two? Is that deep enough? Is that too deep? How deep is that? How deep is your love? Um, let's have a look. So if I'm here, like, how far can you reach in survival? Like a chest. If I... Where's my planks? Let's get my planks, craft a chest. Like, how far back can I reach a chest? See, I can reach that chest fine. Brandon, can you move the chest back by one, please? Yeah, I can still reach it. Can you move it back by one, please? I can't reach that one. All right, let me come around and have a look. So this one... I can't reach, so it's pointless the wall being that far back. It may as well go here. Thank you. Right, staircase. Oh, I was going to go upstairs, wasn't I? There we go. Right then, so upstairs. Um, this is the, the flange. This is the going to be the hanging over bit, which... Once I've got some more spruce, I will expand upon. In fact, I've just done it a little bit already. And then the inside is going to be at this height, I think. I'm not sure yet. Not totally sure, anyway. I like the views. But then the upstairs, I wasn't going to have as just like one big upstairs. So what I was thinking was, is maybe this bit have a second story... But then this bit round here actually have the workshop two stories high. So, like, there'll still be a roof two stories high. Okay. And then, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Right, um, I need to get all the spruce I can, I think. There we go. So, I've got loads of spruce there. Spruce the spruce and slab it slab it up there we go well wow, let's see here right so i am um, i guess i mean that's going to stay on the inside i think i will stick to this wall in terms of distance and then I guess I could have some sort of upstairs balcony looking down into the workshop. See, it's starting to come together now. Micro like fence. You what? Micro like fence. Like grow a fence. Like with a fence. 
Oh, um, to be honest, I'll probably use spruce trapdoors. What, like in the um, pub? Yeah, maybe. Oh, hang on, I've gone too far. And then... Somehow, somewhere there's got to be a staircase to come up to this second floor. So either it's in the workshop and comes up one of the walls and actually comes up to this bit, which could be nice. Um, yeah. Okay, I'm going to have a quick think about this. I'm going to get myself a drink, uh, stretch my legs, and we'll be back in a couple of minutes where, hopefully, the main structure of this uh, workshop will be completed in the next half an hour or so. I'll see you then. Can I slide across? <laughs> oh, great. Now now I'm actually stuck in the door. We have some dried, damp pumpkin slices. Yeah. They're still good to eat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, I'm stuck. That's a good, this is why we shouldn't have got in. I can't even get on the floor. Oh my god. I Oh, hang on a minute. Someone should carry the barrel. Yeah. You stuck the barrel in the car, seriously. Yeah. <laughs> Try, um... Oh. Yeah, I wouldn't have done that if I were you. You're actually losing health as well. Yeah, because I'm cold and wet. I can... Okay, so with just four hours remaining, we, uh, we're going to bed. We've only had one raid. Oh. <sighs> We've only had two raids. Oh, the... Okay, folks. You alright? Here we go. Alright. Well, now, I, this, we've, I've put the roof in. Or floor, depending which which bit you're on. And I need to decide how we're getting up there. How I'm getting up there. Or where I'm getting up there, I should say. Not how. Now, I have got lots of windows here. And I'm kind of considering changing it so that there's less. Maybe... Although I do lo what? Maybe this window? Get rid of when you have the stairs here. You know what? I mean, potentially, what do you think to the idea of having it sort of here? So that it goes up and over the entrance into the two like, story. Like that? Yeah. An interesting idea. I thought it was going to spiral for a second. No. Like around, wrapping around the. No. Oh, what? Like up that way? Yeah. It would go the wrong way, that would. Um. Then again, spiral staircases in Minecraft don't really. <laughs> no, I mean, spirals are like innately circular, aren't they? And like, Minecraft is just so not. Um, you can do circles in Minecraft. But of course, we, we've d we've seen that before. Oh, do I have to smelt the cobble deep slate slate to get the um, bricks? I assume it's like um, stone. Uh, yeah, but it's not stone. It has to be smooth deep slate, doesn't it? Oh dear. All right, never mind. We've we've got plenty of deep slate. We've got like a double, we've got more than double chests back at spawn just doing nothing. Although I do like the cobble deep slate mix with the uh, obsidian for the portally areas. Yeah. Don't smelt it. You don't smelt it. You need the smooth deep slate. But surely you get smooth deep slate from smelting cobble deep slate. No, you craft it. What? You craft uh, like the the. It's like the opposite. You, do you mean polished? Yeah, I mean polished. So you're saying you craft polished? Yes. And then with the polished, you make the brick? Yeah. 
Ah, and then with the brick, you make the stairs. Ah, okay. You have a stone cutter, because that will um, increase your stair efficiency. Oh, well, we don't have a stone cutter around here, that's for sure. Oh, you took away your template. Your my, stair template. My dirt. How do you imagine Maybe. it wasn't important? Well, actually, it, you were being very useful. I know I I swung my axe at you last time you came in and did that. But it was being silly. Yeah, that's true. Um, oh, I'm starting to hit my head, but that's okay. That just tells me we need to take this bit of floor out. Right, so if I'm running down here, am I going to... No, um, that's that's good. I've opened a new window on my computer. All right. And I don't know how to get back to my old window. What are you talking about? I've opened what? a new desktop. Oh, a completely new desktop. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've done that before. Um... It's like shift D window or something weird like that. You're going to have to look it up. People don't use it very often. Ah, Windows tab lets me open up the desktop menu. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah, because it's, it's, it's alt tab if you want to do the other thing, isn't it? Why is that a feature? Because people sometimes have multiple desktops for doing different things. So, like, if they're working from home, they might use one thing. If they are... Um, you know, and, and there are other stuff they might have in there. Or if they have a particular big project that they work on, they might have a completely different desktop for when they're working on that project. Yeah, okay, yeah. Oh, no! What? I've just seen Deep Slate tiles. They look nice, don't they? That's totally got to go around the bottom of the build, right? Yes. Not, Not this stuff. Well, actually, no. No, I I prefer the one that we've got. I mean, the one that you've got there is much more um, rustic. It reminds me of, like, those weird outside houses, which are just, like, stones held together with cement. Yeah. Where this is a bit more industrialised. Hey, Michael's here. Hey, Michael. I uh, hope you and the family are doing well. Yep. What's today's project? Today, we are making a workshop where I can base my operations off, uh, where I'm going to be doing transportation throughout the Viewer Plus Minecraft server. So we're going to be doing minecarts. We're going to be doing airships. We're going to be doing ice boatways. We're going to be doing horse ranches, maybe. All that sort of fant fantastic stuff. Um, and he says, if you don't see me on another stream, I uh, hope you're the best time and have a nice Christmas. Thank you very much, Michael. Although I do hope that you are going to come along on Saturday in just two days' time, folks. I, yeah. I was saying, like, on um, the 18th for a long time. Or I, in, back in November, I was saying, oh, next month. And then when we came to December, I was saying, on the 18th. And uh, from the beginning of this week, I was saying, on Saturday. But now it's Saturday. It's going to be very soon. It's going to be, like, tomorrow. That's two days away. Yeah, so much. No, oh, you finished my it's stairs for me. Start, start, so it's more like thirty-six hours, isn't it? Yeah, uh, something like that. Yeah. I, don't I like that. <laughs> I like these bricks for stairs. I like these bricks for stairs. I, I, I still need to mess with the fish. <laughs> Although it's not oh. a twenty-four hour, so it's Flat not. Away. And it, it's the it's the more you pay, the more we play. So we yeah. don't actually know how long it's going to be. So it's mm -hmm. a two-hour stream. Yeah, it could be. Nice. Right, we've uh, got, got to do better than that. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Hello. Yes. Do you still need some um, clay stuff? Uh, I I do. Yes. I've got about four stacks. That would be lovely. Whole stack of bricks. No, four stacks of clay. Yeah, that's so that's a stack, stack of bricks. Uh, we've. I, I can't believe I'm saying this. I ran out of cobblestone. I've got some. It's fine. You don't need to wait at the cobblestone generator for like an hour. You've got some, have you? Yeah. Uh, Mike says he'll do his best, but he's working in the run up to Christmas. Hey, but yeah, of course. I mean, I completely understand that people have got things that they need to do and stuff. Oh, originally I was going to extend this wall so it kind of 
goes along this edge, but I'm not sure about doing that now. Maybe I'll let some of it stick out. Can we get cobblestone stairs? Yes. I feel like that needs to be a thing here. I don't know how we make a stone castle. Um, I'm sure there must have been one in a village we've been to. Uh, there's one in the coastal village to the northwest. Coastal village to the north. Wait, oh, between actually, between the that, industrial base and my base. Yeah, that's not far away. Nope. Or just three stone and iron ingots. Yeah. What's that line? It's like a weird dirt line on my map. What dirt line? Oh, that's where they... Uh, from the village? Yeah. That's where they brought the villagers over, for the iron farm. Right. Well, think about it. Like, if you catch the villagers at the top of that peak and make a little line to bring your boat across, you don't have to go down and then try and get the boat back up again. Yeah. Yep. And from there, I think it was actually all downhill as well. So, yeah, that's good. I like... I really like the cobblestone wall on this side... I think it needs to cover up on that side. Um, also, this needs to be something. And Someone's removed all the beds from this village. Yeah, I did. Oh? I did it in case it was messing up the other village. Oh. Well, I mean, the, the iron farm. It's far enough away. Yeah, I know, but we were running really low on ideas of what was wrong with the iron farm, so I started trying a few things. It might just be broken. Yeah, but why would it be broken? That's the point. Make... You, did, you, did, you tested it. I saw you tested it. And it was working. What do you mean? Like you sent screenshots of it working. Yeah, but that was in a single-player world. Yeah. But it's the same... I thought it's... There's no difference in multiplayer. There shouldn't be. Shouldn't be any difference. Okay, I've decided I really like this. Like I like the cob the the brick and the spruce and the cobblestone and the spruce. I think just either one of them, too much of either one, is bad. Yeah. But a bit of each, especially broken up with the windows. I don't like the look of these stone bricks on the inside of the windows but I can like put something up to clad that like an edging or something you could have some um, reverse stairs or something yeah yeah. Or like I think I, th capitals. I think I like this space like there's a bit of a good space here I like the fact that this wall's slightly offset um, I like the fact that the stairs cover up this bit of the room here you could line the wall with um, some sort of Full trap door, like spruce or something. Uh, just a whole a whole spruce wall. No, a whole spruce wall, just a line. Uh, speaking of spruce, excellent. The only thing that is this is really really missing at the moment, apart from the roof, is a back. Yeah. It's um, a bit, um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do t like a tunnel between the two. So we're going to have a solid back wall with a rather large opening and a tunnel through to whatever I build in the back later on. Um, and I think we'll have a window over here. So I'm just going to get the equipment to make one of those windows. And then I'm going to fall in this little hole that I made. And hopefully... I brought some bone blocks with me. Why did I bring bone blocks? I brought gravel for goodness sake. Um... And also, we haven't done the glass yet. The more I look at this, the more I'm not liking the stone bricks in the bricks for this build. What would you use instead? Don't know. Cobble again? Mm. Actually, I, I think you might be onto something. I think cobble might be better. Never before have I seen so much cobble in a build. And it actually looked good. 
I mean, e this wall back here is is too big and blank for a wall at the moment, but it'll get there. Um, I think what we'll do here is we'll do a little spruce up, and we'll put a door in. I'm kind of tempted not to have spruce. Yeah, d don't have a spruce door. No, Brandon. Not at all. No, I want a door door. <laughs> I want a dark door. What's dark oak look like? I can't remember. It's like a uh, mahogany door. Mahogany doors? Mm. Uh, no, it's like... Um, I'll bring, I've, I did bring some with me. It's quite posh. You brought some acacia. I see. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> Acacia doors so, are the worst looking doors. They're not. I think if you use them in the right place, they look really nice. But not here. Yeah, agreed. Not here. <laughs> not here in the slightest. Um, oh, the chocolate doors. Yeah. Why don't you say the chocolate door? Because I forgot how to explain them. I like the chocolate door because it almost looks like spruce, except it looks better than the spruce one. Well, not looks better. I think it looks more appropriate. Wait, so you see these trapdoors you put here <clears throat> that I keep flicking up and down because they're fun? Hang on, so yes. Well, you put them on the top as well so you can close up the shop. I was thinking something along those lines, yeah. I was. But I'd have to do it from the inside, and I don't know if I have any more. I love the way you just wasted some of my acacia there. Thank you very much. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> it's like good job, good job. Spruce. Uh, sorry. You need spruce. Uh, spruce, yeah. Yeah, it's burning. I've got six. Hello, that's not they, enough. You're going it? into the hopper. Wait, what? <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, what? That was enough. There we go. I don't need it anymore. Oh. Right. This is like standard building materials in the double chest, and bits and bobs in the other chest so I know the bits and bobs chest is pretty much full but if there's any bits and bobs like leads, bow let's put them in the bits and bobs chest let's have a bit of organisation about this there we go don't need seeds yeah we don't need it's not going to stay out here very long right now, oh there's the spruce um, so now I'm thinking uh, path Um, and also, path's got to come up to there, hasn't it? So that oh, square that off. Thank you, thank you very much, Jake. I was going to do that, but thank you anyway. And then I think the path's got to come here. Is this roof or part or ceiling? What? It's it's overhang. Yeah, but do you walk on it? No. Why would you walk on it? Well, it might be up the floor behind. Oh, flower pots are brilliant for chimney stacks. I forgot about that. Oh, yeah. Uh, right, I need to get upstairs. Oh, I got rid of the... So, a campfires. We have a stair. Yes. Sorry? We have stairs now. Where? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like, how do we get upstairs quick? <laughs> it's like, actually use the stairs as stairs. Mm, Four stairs. Oh dear, silly me. Uh, yeah. Okay, now, what was... Oh yeah, we was talking about maybe cobble for the window ledges. Yeah, I gave you all my cobble there. I'm not sure what I'm going to do for the second story. In terms of the walls... I might continue with the brick. I wasn't going to. But I might do. Hey, Brandon. You're using my shop front as an exit. Oh, who did that? <laughs> you that just did it, didn't you? No, no, no. That's been there for all five months. It's been there forever, has it? Well, I don't believe you. Egg. What? Uh, what? See, spruce doors would be really good to decorate, decorate with if they didn't have the hinges and handle. 
you could like go around and like just clad the inside of a building. See, that's why I used the... trapdoors. Yeah, yeah, you use trapdoors for that. Because the uh, these ones don't have a thing. I think there is an orientation about them, though. No. The other ones have uh, hooks. These are good for barrels. Okay, there's not a pattern orientation, but there is a texture orientation. Oh yeah, I could put some barrels in here. That might be quite nice. Um, right then. Oh yes, I was doing the 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 sticky outy roofy verandery bit. The bit with with no proper name yet. Okay. Um. Oh, actually, that works out quite nicely because then I can get rid of this if I use the right tool. Oh, somebody. Did you try and do that for me at the same time as me doing it? Yes. And then. Surely you can get. Where, have we got more? Is that all we've got? Have we run out of. The what's it's late? Probably. We have, haven't we? I got the stack. Oh, you got a stack. Well, I've got okay. A okay. We've Thank got you. some spawn actually. We have. We've got a double chest, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, oh, are you trying the? Oh yeah. 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 Totally. Yeah. Hey, J Jack. Hello. Hello. Where are you? I'm just. Uh, I just went to my old well island to get a little sand. Oh yeah. <laughs> right. Okay, folks. Um, so. Just, I'm not going to zoom the map, map in and out. So look at the stream at the moment. This is the current size of the industrial area. We've got these roads. We've got bits planned here, builds there, and all this. Now, if I scroll over to where Jack was planning to do it, this island is the entire size of everything he was planning to do. It would have been a fantastic, fantastic place to do it, but in my opinion, just way too small for what was going on. What on earth is going on? Oh, right. hey. Pillagers. Pillagers. Jack, is my building in keeping enough with what yeah. you've got going on? I think so, definitely. Cool. Ugh. Ooh. No. I'm going to bring the ledge out one more so that the two pillars match. So that this pillar matches that pillar. Do you have more cobble? Cobble? No. no, I've got. There's eight. Got we are, some. we are really low on cobble. Unless somebody like Elaine has got any. I'm going back to spawn if they've got some. Uh, I don't think. I, I don't think there's any at spawn. We've got a cobble jet. We've got two actually. Um, I've got one, two, three, four, five, five stacks of cobble in the chest up here. Yeah, that should be enough. Unfortunately, that's over at my base. Oh yeah, look at this! I'm I'm getting I'm getting on board with this. We haven't even done proper decoration yet, and I'm happy about it. Just the form and structure and the 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 t the textures and things are all coming together quite nicely. I like it a lot. Um, where's the chunk border on this one? Chunk boundary is oh. Okay, so this is actually the corner. Okay. I mean, does does it matter for your house, you chunk road? No, no. No. <laughs> I don't have anything more to say about that. Just, just no. Okay. This bit of flooring is where the bottom walls are going to be. Uh... Are you going back to spawn, did you say? I'm going Me, to Elaine. Yeah. You're, okay, DJ's going to visit Elaine. Brandon's got to my spawn. If Brandon, if you could get some more of the standard deep slate yeah. stuff. Cobbles, I don't know what lighting we're going to have in here, though. That's that's another thing we need to work out. There's lots of cobbled deep slate. Yeah, that's the stuff. That's the stuff, the cobbled deep slate. Anything else? Uh, I don't think so. Like Not unless there's cobble. any. You what? Like cobble? Uh. Oh, we don't actually have any. It's all tough. 
I brought some tuft with me actually. Um, not not something that I'm planning on using, but no so I'm gonna I'm gonna work on the windows. There's no cobble here, sadly. Oh, uh, we're long glass actually. Have you got any over there? I've got some okay. at my base. We've got. I mean, I, here. Yeah, I'm I'm not sure how. I mean, I could always go and get some. We have sand here. Now, which way do you do it? Do you color it then turn it into paint, or I think you color it first, don't you? What wasn't egg coming over to my base? Yeah. Um, I've got like eight stacks of glass at my base. Okay. That's quite a lot of stacks. What do you color first? I haven't colored them. No, I had to said color something first. Always do the coloring first. What? So that's eight, sixteen, twenty-four, then twenty-four. Into sixty. I actually probably don't need any more. He says, "Miss so anyway." Right. Am I happy with white? Jackamack, what do you think of my window? Let's have a look. Yeah, I think that gives it a kind of industrial look. Sort of like security glass or something. Yeah. Safety glass. Yeah. Almost. Yeah. Yeah. Dark oak looks gorgeous. Yeah, I think everybody agrees that dark oak is just the thing. I like that. Okay. I'm going to go with Jack and Mac's opinion with this. And I'm just going to put it on. I, I think I've got enough glass, actually, you know, guys. It is a bit dark round here, though. Might need to sleep in a bit. Lighting. It's going to have to be lanterns, isn't it, for lighting? I think. Oh, iron lanterns. Yeah, iron lanterns. I think that's the one that makes the sense, the most sense. Mm -hmm. But what colour? I, I, I think the standard one. Egg. There's only one lantern colour. It's in the base. What? It's in the temper uh, hut. Oh. There is only one colour of lanterns. No, blue or orange. Yeah. Uh, what? Blue or orange. Did you get blue? Yeah, you do the solely ones. Mm. I can't bear gifts, by the way, Hedge. <laughs> we got a message in chat here that says, I'm going to say Acacia and Brandon will know immediately who I am. Oh. No. Brandon's just gone. Brandon has left the building, the server. <laughs> there we go, he's gone. <laughs> Oh dear. Right, let's get this back sides. No one, no one likes a cave floor. The logs look alright. But the wood. It's just no, like, I, I've actually found use for the wood. It looks like you've covered a building in baked beans. Hang on a second. Just got to check a couple of things. Uh, uh, yes, okay. I just got a reminder about when my daughter needs picking up from school tomorrow. Because it's not the normal time. So they were like, remember, it's not the normal time. And I was like, oh yeah, it's not the normal time. Last day of term, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, hellish. I think orange lanterns will look the best because those are the closest to gas. Uh, what? Oh, the old style gas. I thought you were going to say, if you burn modern gas, it actually comes out blue, doesn't it? Can be yellow as well. Yeah, you know what? To make it more visible. Um, no. Regular gas is both odorless and colorless. Yeah, so they put a, they put a color and a smell in it, don't they? Oh, I knew I knew they put a smell in it. I didn't know they put a color in it. I don't know. I'm currently thinking about making my windows one taller, but you wouldn't get any brick across the top, and I think that's kind of important for this build. Yeah. Yeah, you would. Unless you raise everything up. Apparently, oh. soul lanterns give off less light. Really? That doesn't sound right. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm saying it doesn't sound right. Do you know there's a difference? 
There is. There's a difference. Uh, I'm going to Google it. Okay, let's have a look, see how we're getting on this side. Ah, oh, yeah, I totally messed that up. Um, did you say you're bringing cobble egg? Yeah. Cool. So, while we do, uh, I will be helping out some of the other viewers with their builds um, offline. Wow, yeah. A lantern emits 15, whilst a soul lantern emits 10. Oh, well, there we go then. Ah, <sighs> cool. The only problem is, is we haven't got any iron because well, so we ran out. Soul lanterns also repel piglins. Oh, really? Mm. Oh, kind of like the crimson, no, the warp jobby thingy. I can't yeah. remember what it is now. Um. Or no, wait, that's just hoglins, isn't it? Eggs back. Egg. But the the egg came back the very next day. Right, I think I'm going to have some pressure plates in it. Can I have? I need some spruce pressure well, that's plates. A duck song. What? Was that the duck song but with egg? What are you talking what about? Duck song. What, what do we want? Duck song. What? A lemonade duck. Song. Yeah, the duck. What do you mean the lemonade duck song? Bum bum bum. It's not copyrighted. There's no way that song's copyrighted. Um. <laughs> oh right, some down at uh, the very next day. Uh, at yeah. that, the very next day bit is actually from earlier stuff. Right. So I was quoting, or sort of quoting that. I was sampling. I, that's it. Yeah, Master Hellish does sampling there. now. Oh, am I too young? Wicky wicky. <laughs> it, it, it came about like less than ten years ago, I think. Probably about ten, maybe. Well, I didn't have internet ten years ago. Oh, she just needed it. Yeah, but none of us were alive when Shakespeare was around. We still, you know. That's a good point, Jack and Max. It's a very good point. Yeah, but you learn about Shakespeare. You don't like learn about obscure no, the, YouTube no, the duck song's more important than Shakespeare. <laughs> <laughs> Even more culturally significant. Shakespeare 50 years, around. Shakespeare will be like literary gold dust for, for, school, for schools and education. That's we'll what be learning about song. like modern day rappers as like classical music. Oh god. Yeah. No, because classical is its own thing. Yeah, he's right. You I, I um I heard that um I, I heard that somebody referred to uh, Blink one eight two as like classic rock. Mm -hmm. Like old school rock. I was like, Oh my goodness, for me that's that's not old school, but that I can see why they might close to old school. Yeah, but f for us, uh, why am I seeing like this chest absolutely full of materials now? It's like, is so much glass in there? It's ridiculous. I dropped you two lines of um, cobble hey, deep. I dropped some glass. Hey, I, I yeah. hope you didn't bring everything. No, I brought four <laughs> stacks of glass. He took everything. He nicked a lot. Uh, uh, he just condensed the base. Back, but, uh... There is no base. It's just eggs inventory. You can steal it back from Hellish. Nah, it's <laughs> fine. I've got a sandbank close by where I can farm some... Uh, oh, that's the point. We, we we was going to say that we were going to allow uh, duplication of... Um, sand. Sand, yeah. It works. But I yeah. found out we can delete portals, but we don't know if it still dupes, because I don't have... Yeah, that. That, that's true. Yeah, we don't know about that bit. Okay, so a lot of this is done now. It's at the back, which is going to need a big hole in it. But the hole is going to be off-site. I think I'm going to make it like in line with the front window. So like, I'm gonna I'm gonna have a four-wide entrance into my warehouse. Oh, hellish! I've noticed yeah. something wrong with your windows. What? They're one pixel off. Oh, don't tell people that. I know it, and I was hoping <laughs> nobody would notice. It's awful. But half of it is in and half of it is out. Who? who uh, also, getting up here was surprisingly challenging. <laughs> Egg just runs at the wall and expects to be able to get up there. I feel like we need another pillar, like here. Yeah. It's not in the middle, but it no. frames the window right, yeah, and I don't care. One away from the window, right? Yeah. You see, buildings don't need to be even. No. That's what makes them look good. Yeah. That's one of the things that How I was... How would you do that on this side? Now that's a question. Uh, you don't. 
You have to move the window. No, no, no. You, don't, you just don't. You just don't. Hmm. Just yeah. leave it. Yeah. It's consistently inconsistent. Yeah. I mean, there's there's a certain amount of symmetry there in the fact that the windows, I think, are in the middle of that wall. Oh, no, they're all one block off, aren't they? Three there, two there, one, two... No, no, they are in the middle of that wall. Okay. There's four this side, there's... Five. This okay. Side. Um, if anybody is bored, you can um, put the floor upstairs above the shop. Do we have much spruce? We've got plenty of spruce. Spruce. Spruce, loads of it. Um... Wait, where upstairs? Above the shop. Yeah, but where? Above the shop. Okay. I'm not sure. What? Why does the? What on earth is? Oh, it's a dark oak pressure plate. Nuts! I accidentally made a dark oak pressure plate. Get rid of that. Just pretend that that never happened. Spruce, spruce. Oh, hang on, we've got spruce over here. I do like these stairs. They're pretty nifty. What, these stairs? Yeah. yeah. Cool. Um, it's my bedroom. Thank you. You could put like uh, a, a fancy dark oak door. Uh, yes, yes, fancy dark oak door. Sweet. I was thinking about putting something else on the inside next to these pressure plates, but I, I also, I'm currently thinking about whether I can get this to activate both doors. But I don't know if my brain's in the right mood for redstone right now. Um. Just walk in the middle. Yeah. Probably the best strat. That's I mean, it's certainly doing it with redstone torches. But. It certainly works for Eggerton. Oh, you know what? I've just thought I could do like a little. Uh, where's the posty stuff gone? Do a little entrance post, like kind of here, with the cobbled deep slate in the same style as the verticals. Ooh, like a garden uh, path. Um, you sort of, and I was thinking maybe I'd make it too wide, and then just leave it like that. There's nothing else, just that. Maybe a lantern on it. Yeah, I'd say make Can't... it uneven. What do you mean, Mike? I'd say you're a madman. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Doesn't work for me. Doesn't work for me. I don't like it. Don't like it. <laughs> right, because we haven't got. Any iron for the lanterns at the minute? I'll, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use. Some. I'm gonna what? Smelt what? Iron. Oh, I mean, you've got some, have we? It's only yeah. nuggets. Oh, it is only nuggets. Yeah. Okay. All right. Fine. Oh, we've got loads. Right. That's fine. Fair enough. We'll just uh, loot the iron from the uh, iron farm. Just oh, leave it. <laughs> oh dear. I think we've somehow managed to make the worst iron farm I've ever seen. It hasn't produced one ingot of iron. Zero iron an hour. Z <laughs> we'll make a YouTube video. Best iron farm 1.8.1. <laughs> Zero iron an hour. Oh, I like the stand sandstone that Jack and Mitch started doing. Yeah. yeah. I'm like interested. Little... Could it, could yeah, it I'm it be like a balcony. Mini Ooh, balcony. Using sandstone? That's something modern. It is a bit, isn't it? It's interesting. It's got like a good mix there. This is all testing stuff out, really, but <sighs> yeah. You do realise that building pretty much spans four chunks. Yes. <laughs> I mean, it's supposed to span into the street. Actually, oh no, wait! You have actually put it right on the corner. Just about. Yeah, the accents go over, but. Yeah, but that's the point. That's what we yeah. said, wasn't it? Like yeah. the. The wall of the building and all the accents spill over into the street, and that's how we were going to do it. So that when you go on the inside of the build, the inside walls walls of the build are the same as the chunk, and then that allows you maximum building space. Yeah, I've tried to do that. Although I haven't actually used a full bit here because 
I might I might make this back bit into like a stable or something. A stable? Somewhere, somewhere to keep horses. Hmm. Uh, Jack. Yeah? An Enderman has taken your uh, pillar. No, 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 that was me. Uh, we actually have Enderman Griefin turned off. Uh, also, they can't pick up stone bricks. Oh yeah, also that. Um, we got a yeah, we got a question in the chat saying about uh, scaring the villagers with a zombie to spawn the iron golem. That is one of two ways of doing it. We're doing it the other way. I say doing it the other way. It's not working. It's not working. <laughs> it's, it's not working. Uh, yeah. Um, they then then it says in the chat the villagers can uh, can spawn golems every thirty seconds when scared. They can also do them every thirty seconds when um, gossiping. So uh, yeah. Why not just put a zombie in the room? Because I mean, we could try that, but I don't think it'll work. You like, need, you need like I mean, a pistol to prove to prove to prove a point, right? Because I've been working on this left, right, and centre. To oh, hang on a minute, uh, spectator. I'm going spectator. All right, to prove a point, I will put a zombie in here. Oh god. Um. Seems like a terrible idea, Hellish. It it does, but I'm going to do it anyway. I just hope I don't accidentally delete my survival inventory or mix anything up. So, uh, zombie. We don't normally use creative mode on this server. This is just for demonstration purposes. Zombie spawn egg. Here we go. So, if I put a zombie in here and then immediately kill him, you'd expect these villagers to spawn an iron golem. So, there's the zombie. He's going towards them. Um, they definitely seen it because they're legging it. Oh, now I'm just going to kill him to keep him away from the villagers. Now, question was, did it spore a golem? No, it did not. No. Maybe the spawn, the golem spawning ones. Um, well, I'm not quite sure what's going on. Like maybe it's too dark. Like, yeah, but we've got we've got the lava here, so there should at least be able to spawn there. I don't yeah. know if it may be too high. No. Oh, apparently it's too low. In which case, they should spawn back here. What do you mean it's too low? Though there's a certain distance that they they will spawn away, and I think it was. I think it ate down or something like that. Can't can't remember now. It's from the centre of the village, which is the mass of the birds. Tell you what I'll do. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll go back to exactly where I was when I went into spectator. I'll make sure I haven't got the spawn egg on me. This is what I do, by the way, folks, if anybody's wondering. like, If I'm ever doing any switching between game modes, I always make sure I go back to where I was when I changed, and I also make sure my inventory is correct. So, back to survival. Let's let's try just putting the floor up a little bit. Uh, just chuck some cobble deep, spl deep slate in there or something. Try closer to the centre, the better. Now, I think what the chat is saying is they're saying the floor in the spawning room is too low. I don't think that's right, but we we'll, we can give it a go, and we can throw some torches in there the as well. The height deviation from centre of village is like six blocks. Is it six? I can't remember now. It's not It's not a lot. It's not a massive amount, though. There we go. So I'm just going to temporarily make an entrance. Uh, Jack, what? Do you have like a stick? And uh, just in case, there's some, there's some oak in here. Oh, thanks. I'm going to put some torches in here just in case. I'm almost, I'm pretty sure light level doesn't make a difference. But just to rule it out, look, there we go. Now, if I put some cobbled deet slate in here, by the chat's theory, this should have almost immediately spawn a golem. Or allow a golem to spawn. Oh, it's too low. I see. Yeah. How how low does it have to? Be? Six, at least. Uh, it, and you need at least is it? Uh, you need three. So, in theory, that right. that platform, this platform, and that platform are all valid places for it uh, to spawn. Yeah. The the water is the water here is one too low. So what you're saying is this platform will work? Yes, theoretically. They do also have to sleep, which I think they've done. Yeah, they can sleep as well. I think that torch might actually stop them spawning. Yeah. Or at least it will in that square. 
So what we need to do is raise all this up by to this levels. Potentially. And then raise the lava. Well, I don't know. If you move out of the way, we'll find out if one spawns in a few seconds. Because the centre of the village is right up there. Just take a couple of blocks out the wall. Or do that. No, I just hope that doesn't mess up. No, it doesn't. Right, is Egg in there? Oh, I just realised there's an easy way to get out of here, isn't there? You yeah, can go I out went, the... I, I went the other way. Which means so, uh, according to the chat's theory, and just for the purposes, again, of the chat, I'm going to go into spectator so we can see this. There we go. There's the breeding chamber, there's the spawning chamber. I don't know if they now need to sleep, but it oh. has definitely been more than 30 seconds. 3.5 blocks, apparently. Is what? For, um, from the centre of the village. But that wouldn't make sense, because if it's 3.5 blocks down, they wouldn't have enough space to spawn with a ceiling. I th I'm sure it's more blocks down than that. We've got that Ill Mango video that um, explained it all. I didn't watch um, it. I'm just going to pause the... I'm going to go be right back because obviously it's not my video. I don't want to play somebody else's video on stream. Um, I'm just going to go and reference it quickly. I'll be right back. Okay, so with just four hours remaining, we, uh, we're going to bed. We've only had one raid. Oh, We've only had two raids. We have built up a tremendous base and now we're going to leave it behind because I am now going to launch the ship from this planet. Here we go. Oh, is, the, is it actually going to... There we go. We've done it. Can I slide across? <laughs> oh great. Now now I'm actually stuck in the door. <laughs> Grabbed some dried damp pumpkin spices. Yeah. Okay folks, I am back and it is um I think he said seven. Bear me a second. Fine. You can place blocks again. Then seven blocks Yep, yeah, seven below. So I'm not sure where chat is getting their information from, but it appears to be either outdated for the wrong version of Minecraft or just just incorrect. And as you can see, it's been more than 30 seconds. We've raised they put those platforms in there, and I don't think we've had a spawn, have we? No. Okay. So that is that theory. God, I mean... We that that spawning platform I built in there is within the seven blocks that it can spawn. It should be fine. I'm back. What have we discovered? Um, it's seven down from the seven. beds. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, so this build is like nearly completely done in terms of structure. Um, the apart from the fact that the back wall's missing, the upstairs is not done. Uh. Q4 says, I've done a zombie one and it's working great. Yeah, I've done zombie ones before. I've also done these ones before. And I've actually got another one on, on another server and it's working great. And I built this in a single player 1.17.1. And I built it in a single player 1.18.1 as well. I was thinking. To, to, and testing it. And it worked. Aren't the villagers and the iron golems in the wrong places? What do you mean? Like, shouldn't the iron golem be on the top and the villagers be in the bottom? Doesn't matter. Because that's how we did it on the modded server. With, yes, that's how we did it on the modded server, but it doesn't matter. Um, according to the info I have, you can have them on both sides for added um, per hour rate. Yeah. I mean, we uh, want it to work. Uh, <laughs> Aggie says, can they reach their work block? They don't need a work block. There isn't any work blocks. So they don't need one. This is something else we've tested. Uh, they don't need jobs. Yeah, they don't. It's they don't need jobs. Yeah, that's another thing that it isn't. It's like you can just list off all the things that it isn't. Um, 
See, I there, I there's there's something wrong about that earlier. Yeah, there's some things that we know that it's not, and there's some things that we've tested that to see whether it's not because we didn't know. It's like some things just off the bat we know. We know they don't need jobs. We've built them without them having jobs. We know it works. Um, so yeah, I've just realised that I can't place spruce slabs on the um, trapdoors here because they're half slabs. There, there would be a gap. Ugh, I don't like that. A gap. Oh, because of between the wall and the slab. Yeah, the the floor and the Or they have to go like this. Oh Yeah, but then it messes up when you hit the stairs, doesn't it? Mm, yeah. Like you can Oh. No. And you you can't do the end either. You can do this end. Yeah. But you can't do here. Yeah. I suppose you could actually just have a wall there. We could put a wall there and then... Uh-oh. Uh, why me? I <laughs> Egg, Egg immediately jumps in a bed. Egg has a portable bed. Uh, it, they only... They just attack people who... They... Who are nearby. Um... Doesn't matter whether you've slept or not. They'll sp Brandon. <laughs> oh wait, that was egg. Yeah. Oh, will you please stop it? <laughs> if someone decorates their build with trapdoors, I'm going to mess with their trapdoors. <laughs> that is true. It's right. Okay. What? What? Oh god. There we go. Oh yeah, that's fine. I like it. We put a little wall at the back. I mean, I haven't got enough cobblestone for it, but I'm sure somebody might have a oh, piece cobble. of okay. cobble. Yeah. Um, and then I need to go up a little bit, but I did say I was going to do the second story out of something different, didn't I? Yeah. I think I'm going to go back on that. Back? I think I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to go back on what I said. I think I'm going to still use the brick. Because I, nice. I, I feel yeah. that the build has been broken up enough. With the various different roofs you might and want bits. To, um, split the second floor and the top floor brick textures, maybe. Well, there is the there is the flange. No, I mean on all the other sides. What do you mean split? Well, hang on. What are you what are you talking about? Well, otherwise it'll look like a giant brick wall. Yes, yeah. I mean if it, yeah, if you look up here on this side, we've got the we've got the spruce flange. Oh, the flange. Yeah, I see it now. That's going to go all the way around. I just haven't done it yet. Um, we're actually starting, starting to run low on spruce. Really? Really? Drop the giant tree down. Yeah. Yeah, we've cladded both the floors and the. I, I tell you what, we need um, we need more doors. To be fair, we only got a stack of logs from that. You only get about eight on average from each tree. What eight stacks? No eight. Logs. From a small tree. Oh, from a small tree. I was going to say. I thought we were talking about the big tree. The big tree got us about a stack. Hmm. I don't think the two bits need a breaking up on the inside because it ha naturally has it because of the floor. Yeah. Uh, so that's fine. Uh, I'm going to do the flange on this side now. I can take this spyglass out of my hand because every time I misclick, I end up zooming in. Then you end up doing something like this, and it's just oh, it's trippy. There we go. Right, and I think the back's going to need a flange as well, so I'll go around and do that too. And we're smelting up all the clay, aren't we now? Uh, Elaine, did you say you brought me some clay stuff? And there should be plenty in your chest. Okay. I brought like, I think I, I think, twelve stacks or something. Where? Oh, I just fell off the house. Um, let's. Cool, oh, brilliant. Uh, Brandon, can you climb in the furnace, please? We want to burn you. What? <laughs> how, how does that make sense? It doesn't. It Surely doesn't. you'd cook me. Uh, yeah, I don't know. No, 
Just I leave you think... in. I don't think owls would have that much meat. Right. Okay, folks. I think I've made a weird... Not weird? A definitive decision. I'm not going to do the upstairs today. Right? Because we could end up spending ages trying to get the materials to get the bricks for the upstairs. And we could end up then trying to rush the end of it. And I don't want to do that. I want to... I want to take my time with this build and get it right. Egg. He says, putting the bricks in the wrong place. These paintings make me miss the modded ones. Oh like. no. Hmm. i tell you what though, in Faithful, they look really nice. Oh. I have only two paint this size. Yeah. Oh. Why? The wrong size, wrong place. Yeah, they're a bit more HD in Faithful. Yeah, they're, they are. They've been redone. It's really nice. Um, can, yeah, so we we don't know why the iron farm's not working. Um, they don't need jobs. They can spawn. They can breed. They can gossip. They can do all of those things they need to. Um, when you yeah, trade with them, though? Just like once. So you don't need to trade with them. I've Like I said, I've done this. I've tested it. When we were having problems, I made a couple of worlds, several worlds, and tested it. And it worked on all of them. The only thing I didn't test was 1.18.0. So unless it's a bug in this version of Minecraft. It, none of the villager or iron gun mechanics have been changed, though, so I don't know why it break, but me not well, coding, it can just sometimes... Yeah, you change one thing and it can have weird effects on other things sometimes. I don't know what I just did then. I'm going to have to go upstairs and have a look. Uh, what's going on? That's the out. Oh, right, okay. I can be the man um, I think I've just realised this wants to be brick. What are you doing, Ish? I just... This wall is just so boring. <laughs> what wall? This what wall's... It's not boring though, because if if Hellish adds a, a window on the upper floor on oh, this yeah, side, it won't yeah. be as boring. What are you talking about? This wall. Yeah, well, you, we'll see about that. Yeah. You never know. I might put something there, the like a chute or a, a trapdoor or Nothing. something. Maybe some leaves. Maybe some leaves. Some leaves. Yeah, some vines, something or a bush, or a planter. I might put a planter there. You never know. Okay. But it is. I like the way that this is the same, but also different to what Jackamax is doing. Mm. Jackamax is a bit more um, cube. Well, it will be until I work out what it's going to be for. <laughs> yeah. Down I'm, all. Down, for the, yeah. For the rules and for the. I don't know. I'm down. I'm making it modular so I can like extend this design out. We do need somewhere to put like the to-do list board or something. This will be that then. Why doesn't this replace the temp building? The what? The temp building. So if we need a building temporarily for something, we put it in there until we build the thing that we need. Yeah. <laughs> I like that plan. And then like this that will be idea. like Ed's uh, community storage. Yeah. Right. Okay. Project like I like I said. We could spend forever getting the resources to do the top bit and end up rushing it and make it look terrible. I really like what I've done, or we've done, with all your guys' help with this. So um, what we're going to do is we are going to stop building the workshop. We'll have a part two. I'll try and get resources in between so it's all good and ready. And, yeah, we'll have a part two where we'll do... Not only the second story and the roof, but the, the main part of the interior as well. Decorating this is going to be awesome. What do you mean? Well, or this... this just yeah, putting, putting random decoration -y bits. It's not like, just going to be decoration. I, I, I intend for this to be mostly functional. Oh, yeah, but... Um, but can, would you mind... Would you mind just bringing stuff inside for me? Uh, so yeah, we're, gonna sure. have, we're, gonna, we're gonna have a little tidy up and just bring everything inside. So, smash up the boxes, bring them in. 
I was about we'll to smash just up the chests, but that seems like a terrible idea. Yep, smash the chests up. But do we have a chests? There's there, chests right? in. There's te yeah. There's temporary chests inside. Where do you want the furnaces? Just throw them somewhere. In between the chests or something. I don't know. On this wall, in between the windows or something. I don't, whatever. Yeah. yeah. I just doesn't put my dirt in there. Doesn't matter. I'm gonna keep my spyglass though. And I'm gonna keep my food. And I'm gonna keep my torches. Is it me or are your drawers the one? Well, it depends which way you want to do them. I like them this way. I like them inset. It it gives it a more of a, like an overhang. Like, yeah, you don't like have to put an overhang in. It's naturally got one. Right. Uh, have we got any more iron? Because my tools are about to go. And uh, part two yeah. of tonight, I want to do something. Oh, cheers! Thanks. Um, I'd like to dig in the nether because we have been going backwards and forwards between spawn and here for absolutely ages and it's getting a bit of a pain because we we're wand wandering around in the overworld. Can we complete this portal here? What portal? The portal at ah, Jack's base. I don't know if we've got enough obsidian. There's this ruined portal over here, which looks like it has a bit of obsidian. Alright, smash that up. Um, let me get another pick. And I'm going to get an extra pick, because we're going to go in the nether and dig the tunnel. And I think we should. what we should do is set up this portal, not go through it, make a note of its coordinates, and then build the nether side from the other end put it all in place, and hopefully, if we do it right, we'll come out here. Sure, but we get free obsidian. From what? Going through this one. Yeah, but we just have to tear it down again, wouldn't we? Yeah, but... Free obsidian. Okay, I'm going to make a note of the coordinate for this one. Oh, there we go. Uh, oh, God, that's a terrible number. Let me get my notepad out. Who's cutting onions? Let's have a look. Apparently I. So it's uh, minus four, five, six, and positive. Oh, four, six. Oh, minus four, six, one as well. So it's minus minus six, one. Okay, so let's just get the nether coordinates for them. Now, luckily, we won't have to dig up or down. We've got also a micro. Nether hub started already. It's a portal with a tunnel. It's a portal with a hole, yes. Um, so we need to go all the way across 50. It's only 58 blocks across in the nether. But it feels like an eternity when you're walking in the overworld. Well, it's 400 to like. Not 400. Yeah, so it's 57 by 58 minus. For the, for the nether. Uh, no, I'm one short. Uh, also, that is not the size I was going to make it. Well, we didn't have enough otherwise. Uh, well, I've got ten blocks back at spawn I was going to use, but... Oh. Well, that'll, light, that'll still light up, won't it? Yeah. That's the smallest okay. the portal can be. Okay, light it up, and we'll go through... We'll go over to spawn and do the other way. So I think I've got everything I need. Over at spawn... What? Uh, over at spawn we've got the obsidian. Uh, we've also got um, any nether brick in case we need to build build temporary tunnel bridge things. We don't go through this. I suppose if we go through it we can... You can If you want to destroy the portal on the other side for the obsidian, that's up to you because you've got the pickaxe to do it. It's up to you. I mean, as you said, I don't know what we end up, and it might link weird. Right. In which case, we'll go back to spawn and do it properly. Jack, are you coming or are you staying here, mate? Um, I haven't really been following, so I'll stay here. Okay, see you later. See ya. Did you just set that spider on fire for <laughs> no reason whatsoever? <laughs> yeah. Poor spider. That's no good at all. It's like one of the few wizardy things I can do in this game. Bear with me a moment, just check in. 
Did I? Bear me a second, folks. Oh, yeah, I did send that. Good. Just making sure I did something that I was supposed to do before I started the stream. One of the things we're going to do is we're going to... I'm going to build a horse ranch and breed up, like, really fast horses. Now, I've done that in the past, but it's been a long time since I've done it properly. I remember watching the uh, depreciated Minecraft series on Udemy. Yeah, that was... Um, yeah, that was a long time ago, and I feel I can do a lot better now. Um, like, especially seeing as I like to do time lapses and stuff. I like as well. the horse track idea. Oh, measuring the speed, yeah. yeah, yeah. And there's there's ways you can do it now as well, where if you do it in a certain way, you, it like almost calculates it for you in terms of blocks per second. Surely you just do a, a thing that ejects a block per second. Hmm. I think it does it in redstone ticks, so I think you get 10 blocks a second, or 10 ticks a second up to. But then I think with the redstone flashing on and off, it actually you actually get a block every other redstone tick. So you'd end up with 5 blocks a second. But what you want is to have the fastest tick possible, rather than 1 block a second. Because if you've got two horses which are close to each other, but one's actually a tiny bit faster than the other, you need that actual degree of accuracy to know the difference between the two. So you actually want your counter to spit out as many blocks as it can, as fast as it can. And then that gives you the results as, accurate as, as accurately as you can. Right. I've also been trying to break, break the bedrock roof, um, which we could give another go at if we have enough um, gunpowder. How successful have you been at that? I've done three attempts and died once, and I haven't made a hole yet. Well, so you like swimming? Yes. Wow. Yes. <laughs> exactly. You're not meant to die. I know. I know. I don't know how I died, but never mind. Right then. So, if for anybody who hasn't seen it, this is our starting hut, a starting base. We've got we've got a bell and a few little farms, a bit of moss. I've got ten obsidian here, which I will pass to Brandon. He's in charge of the obsidian. Oh. And I will give Brandon one of the silk touch picks as well. Give an egg. Uh, I've got two gunpowder. If we get more gunpowder, we can make the TNT we need to give Golden it a go. Golden silk touch pickaxe. Look, if we need to silk touch something, like, and you haven't got a silk touch pick, then be grateful I gave you that. I mean, yeah. I can mine ten things. Um... I suggest we take a little bit of netherrack with us, just in case we need to do a bit of bridging or wall filling in, in or yeah. roofing. Yeah, 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 but yeah. I know we're going to start by tunnelling. Okay, so for reference, this is the standard portal. Okay, so everywhere that I build portals, this is what the portal will look like. It will be three wide on the inside, four wide on the inside. It'll have cobble deep slate stairs and corners. Ooh. Someone's customised the spawn a bit. And I've started to build a bit of a hub here. Yes, I've started to customise it. Have we got no. the weird portal um, data pack? What? One which lets you have portals in custom e shapes. No. Oh. But you can you can clad them. Right, so this way is south, which means I think Jackamack is that way. So we'd have to dig out this tunnel first. Let's just check the coordinates. So we should be close to zero here. The minus numbers should be going up. Yep, and then minus numbers go up that way. Yes, I'm correct. So the question is, how big should we make the holes? Um, now what I'm thinking was, is that we have a three wide tunnel by three high for passengers, for people. And then when I put the rail network in later, I will do like... A bit on the side where the track goes down the side. Yeah. So we'll ignore those bits for now. And we'll do what I'm now going to call the Mark 1 tunnels. Like the Mark 1 portals. Oh, Brandon's just... Uh, you gone too high? No, no, no. Because it's easier to mine out the top two. And then go back and mine the bottom one. Oh, okay. Also, the first thing that Egg did was punch me with his pickaxe. Whoa. Sorry. I actually don't have wolves. Why? It's the they'd be aggro. Oh yeah. We don't remember we don't actually have very far to go, Brandon. We've only got to go up to 
uh, 50, minus 57 to begin with. Okay, well, we have to bridge a bit. Do we have to do a bit of bridging? Okay. Yeah. Oh, we've gone out into standard nether, have we? A little bit. We've entered okay. the um, gigantic soul sand around me. Yeah. 57. Okay, let's just check. I'm pretty sure... Where did I put the bottom of the portal? Flush with the floor. Right, okay. So the idea is that in the future, I will take this floor out and replace it. So this is 57. I assume you want it to go one further, so the 57 is a centre. Uh, yeah. Even though Jack and Max... Yeah. Okay. That was you. <laughs> Let's have a look. So we've got... Over here, this is... Yep, 57. So now we need to go 58. Yeah. That way. Oh, Jack, did you go through your port? Yeah, why not? Oh, we were just saying we didn't want the portal to generate on the other side because oh. we were about to place a custom one in and we had a whole conversation about it. Don't worry, I'm just falling through the world, so... Okay. <laughs> It's well, probably that, it kind of helps us base the um, Yay. portal location. The only there. problem is the portal no. may be just completely in the wrong place, well, and we I have see, to. I can see them on the map. Oh, I'm, I'm not looking at the map. Hey, oh, <laughs> this is like when oh. we did the channel tunnel, isn't it? Yeah. <gasps> well, I'm, I'm still falling through the ground, so. Okay. Okay. Ow. When digging in the Nether. People's natural instinct when they see lava is to switch to blocks to block it off. What you should do is stay on your pick and make a hole in the floor and let the lava drain into it. I'm on my way towards you. Well, see how they should have fire protection on my arm. Oh, I can, yeah, I can hear someone coming really close now. Okay. We'll need to put some walls in. Uh, you'll I'll get like this side out. Okay. See, that's another thing as well. It's like at the wrong height now. Actually, Jack, you're below us. Do you need another one, Egg? I'm at the Jack, look height? up. Uh, I can use my diamond. Oh, there you are. Okay. Yeah, sorry about that. I'll go back. Okay, so now we need to clean that up, and then we should be alright. I kind of prefer digging the tunnels, because... You don't, bridging. yeah. You don't have to bridge across lava lakes or get shot by gas while you're sorting out. It's like you're just digging a tunnel, and that's it. This is the end. Plus, it's easier for mobs to deal with it. Yeah, um, Jack was around here. Okay, so we need we need to find the portal. Here he is. And take it apart, and I will. <clears throat> uh, we'll dig out the place for the new portal. So let's get the F3 menu up. So that's seventy. Oh my goodness, you, you've gone way too far. It was supposed to be... here. This is where Jack's portal generated. But I suppose if the portals generate, like, off-skewered, so you actually spawn yeah. in the nether, not all Yeah, it tries to do it... Yeah, it tries to do it close to the, the correct point. But it will do it not at the correct point if it needs to. It's a bit difficult to see. I think it's because it's too dark. I'm on right. There we go. Right, you've got the obsidian, Brandon. Uh, yeah. And because you're destroying Jackamax portal, uh, we can actually do the posh kind here. Ooh. The Mark One. We can go straight for Mark One. Oh, back it back up. There's Mark One. <laughs> yeah. So the. Mo the Mark One portal is the portal design that we have at spawn, and what I'm going to build for you in your place. There you go. Brandon. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Come on, Brandon. All you've got to do is connect the dots here and not Where? mess that up. How do I... <laughs> uh, I trapped Egg. No, because I pillared up, Egg can't get out. Yeah, oh, yeah. that's not very kind. Right, once once you guys are all through, 
let's block up this side because this is a dead end portal for now we'll put a whole station and stuff here later this is the difficult bit though placing blocks while sort of in the portal they have patched it a little bit yeah. sometimes when you're in a portal you can't mine blocks yeah you can get stuck when I was doing my um, oh, uh, ocean monument farm on my single player survival series 1 I the number of times I got stuck in the portal in the item exchange area it was ridiculous okay so here we go this is the portal to the industrial district in theory we should land right on it in theory there you go I think for a split second I was in the tunnels underneath but there we go so I mean this is a lag test, Nick. yeah it was for that but the first time you use a portal it is because mm -hmm. um, well, it has to do it has, has to do Cal calculations and stuff. Uh, how's everybody's ping? Everybody's ping's fine. Brandon, how many um, obsidian you got? None. I gave it all to Egg. Egg, how? Ten? Well, let's yeah. fix this portal up then, guys, shall we? Make it how it's supposed to be? Uh, what are the corners? What? Have you got the corners? What do you mean? Uh, so we've got dirt here. Hellish wanted fancy corners. Yes. There we go. Oh, you want to make this one bigger? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like a rabbit. The, the, you want it one wider? Mm. Yeah. yeah. I'm taller. Normally, normally the portals are three wide in the on the inside. But because of the roads and stuff around here, it has to be even, not odd. So this one is actually slightly wider than all the other ones. You broke it! <laughs> Have you got the obsidian egg? Yeah. Okay, I'll well, pick up the... Theoretically, we need, like, four more obsidian. Yeah. Is the, is the height good? No. This is where I miss Vane one. I know that it's too cheaty. It's way too cheaty. It speeds up everything. Yeah, I know that's why it's too cheaty. It's like um Yeah. Hey oh Jack, you got a fat portal. Yay. And that links up so let's see how long it takes to get to spawn now from here. If About we all thirty seconds if I fall through the world. Yep. Okay, no, fine. Oh, we didn't do the walls. What do you mean we forgot. We, we we need to do walls here so you don't get shot by spawned gas and stuff. Oh, I took a shortcut, but Jack's hitboxing me. There we go. Spawn. That is so much better. Yeah. Oh, that. I mean, it's it's almost exactly eight times quick. It's not eight times quicker because. In the overworld, we go diagonally, and I'm doing... Those tunnels are not going to be diagonal. They're never going to be diagonal. Has someone been stripped by me? Where? Here. You mean in spawn area? Yeah. Yes, they have. So I, I could tell because I fell into one of the tunnels. All right, okay. I'm going to put. I'm going to go put the walls in there, and then... Do we want some lighting in? Lighting in the walls? Mm. You know that um, nether glowstone? Nether glowstone. Glowstone is already nether, but... No, 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 the other one. The one that's generated on the trees. Oh, shroom lights. Yeah. What about them? I think they look pretty cool. I agree. There's also the classic lava behind glass. Lava behind bars? Red, less... red glass. Or just oh. Fire. Yeah, I, d I did that before. I just knocked one of the um, blocks out in the wall and just, like, lit on fire. Oh, that's poor. Yes. But <laughs> Yes. And bearing in mind that these tunnels are just, like, the starting point of the whole network. 
but it's it's really not this is actually technically the first transport job the first transport job to link those two places with some sort of um, way of movement and yes yes that way of movement is walking but it counts because uh, I said so thing wrong with walk that's true and I'm making all the portals horse safe and I think if you're on a horse and you are in a three wide a three high tunnel you'll be okay won't you yes. it's only when you're in a portal and you get off that's when you take damage and bang it. Oh, <laughs> my goodness it's who was that jacker jacker might try to help and all he did was get in the way so right. i've gone down the other end to assist that sounds to do the other. we ended up just building blocks over the top of each other and it was a mess see i, I vaguely remember you wanting to decorate them what the tunnels? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to decorate the tunnels. Well, I'm going to re. Like I said, this is the Mark One tunnel. When I put the railway in, that's when I will rebuild. What are you going to put uh, ice for? Uh, long distance. Ah. So sh short distance tunnels like this will have footpath and minecart. Long distance tunnels that you know they're going to travel probably a, a few, maybe a thousand blocks or more, rather than like fifty. They will, they'll just be ice tunnels, I think. It's not very long, is it? It's not. It, it's, it feels like a long way when you're I mean, it would, walking it, would, it in the overworld, but... It would have been quick if we did a diagonal, but straighter lines would look better. <sighs> the diagonal would be fine for walking, but like I said, I'm planning on putting minecarts down the well, sides of the tunnels. You, you can do diagonal minecarts. You can, but it, it... I don't like... I don't like it. I'm going to be honest, it looks funny. It does look funny. Yeah. So. I like this now. Well done. That's good. You like what? They're just the way you've linked that up. So oh, that yeah. It is. It it really helps, doesn't it, with going backwards and forwards. It's the next thing we'll have. It does. The next thing we'll have to do is link up to like Brandon and stuff. That would be nice, but I don't have a place to put the portal yet. Yeah, but we can put like a maybe a temporary portal outside the front or something. So at least. It's not completely overworld travel. True, true. And plus, um, it'll still vaguely link anyway, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, just move the nether one when you move the overworld. I was going to create like a, um, a fancy portal. Well, Something. considering that uh, there's no second story, there's no roof, there's no lighting. Uh, it's just been cropped out, Hellish. There's no. Thumbnail clickbait. In. Sorry, what? It's thumbnail clickbait. It's been cropped out. What? It's been cropped out. Just look, just look down a little bit. It'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. I'm really happy with the start of this. this is, like I said, it's the first time I've used bricks. Um, I think it complements the style that we're going with. It's a little bit more modern than what I was planning, especially with that slight slanted, lowered, roofy bit. That, well, it's not I the think, centre. It's not the central building. No, that's right. It is on towards the edge, so that's fine. Um, I, will, I will probably put some sort of shop in there, but for now, the shop is closed. That's that's got me thinking though. That's the bit. That's it. That's the bit I don't like about this texture. Look. Oh, sorry, um, egg. <laughs> I was just going to show the viewers. Look, if you put these trap doors up and down so that they close like this, the lines don't line up. Yeah, lines don't line up. Yes, they do. Yeah, they do. What? Are you telling me that they don't line up for me because I'm unfaithful? Yes. Ugh. Well, if you stand back, it looks fine. I can uh -huh. say, Hellish, um, those lines do not line up. They do. They do not. They do. Hang on a minute. Options, resource packs. Uh, that one. Oh, yeah, look. It totally lines up. Yeah, it's, it's all perfectly in line. That's sarcasm. No, it is now. I just changed my resource pack. Um... And by the way, this is what the the build looks like in vanilla, without the faithful. It's not quite as nice, but not it's still bad. all right. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. And especially once we get the lighting in the other the upper story and the other buildings to complement them. Yeah, and the other buildings around as well. So it'll have a nice little shop front in there. Be able to go inside, and this I don't. This will be more 
probably this will be a production room, maybe. I'm not sure what this bit's going to be. I did want this bit to be wider than what it is. So I might actually move this wall backwards a little bit and make that just make that room a little bit wider and then have a tunnel into the mountain where we will have our warehouse. Warehouse will basically be just my storage. Upstairs, uh, we have this little, little landing. Um, we might do it so we can look down into the construction room. And then I don't know what we'll have here, but I'm thinking at the minute this will be my bedroom. And when the sun is setting, the view is there, which is interesting. And I think, I don't think we're planning any buildings in this section of the build. So to have a nice big window here might be quite nice. But we're actually pretty we much... Uh, yeah, but we're probably going to end up having builds over that way. So when the sun's coming up, like the iron farm and stuff, like you can see where the moon is now. Yeah, I meant for the building itself. Because it'll oh, break yeah. up this plane wall down the bottom. Yeah, there's, we're definitely going to break that up with different bits and bobs. But um, but somebody's ruined my sunset, but we'll finish the video anyway. <laughs> um, thank you very much, everybody, for joining in. Um, thank you to everybody that helped with this build. Um, I'll be offering my services to um, everybody um, that did help. In fact, um, DJ, uh, I've got a mending book for you. Elaine, I've got a mending book for you too. Jack Mac, thank you very much for letting me build in your district. <laughs> Brandon, I've already given you a mending book, but thank you very much for your assistance. And uh, thank you very much to the viewers and the chat as well. We'll see you all soon. Remember, masterhellish.net for the, all, the, all the things about me. And the best place to keep up with everything is over on the Discord. And, of course, we've got the big open TTD game on Saturday. I'll see you all then. But from me, Brandon, DJ Egg, Elaine, and Jack Mac. Bye. 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 Bye-bye. <laughs> That's what you should say first.